Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, welcome, welcome, guys and girls out in the side peanut gallery thing. Well, we've just been discussing the sun, and it looks like it's <laughs> trying to find a point of where the sun and what the sun could have been used for, and, and what uses it did have. It seemed to be a bit of a broad area. I thought I'd start hot off round topic, start. if you will. <laughs> yes, a hot topic. No pun intended. No, no. Um, that, sorry, that's a voice from beyond. I don't know where that person is. He must be just hiding out there somewhere. Um, so with <laughs> he's the St Stonehenge and places like that are visual representations of what the sun could have been used. Well, we don't know what exactly what it was used for. We can only determine it by the shape of what what's remaining. We could do some good uh, um, guesstimates. Of maybe the sun was tracked through it in certain times of the year. Maybe it told the seasons. Maybe it told the different times to plant. We don't know. It might, might have just been all just for religious for pagan ceremonies. We, we, we don't really actually know unless we've got a time machine or we can just jump in and drive to 88 mile an hour and go back and have a look. Yeah. So where do we start is the contentious question. Nothing? Um, oh, sorry, I was muted and I tried to talk. I, no, I didn't do it to you that time. <laughs> no, 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 it was a self, self mutilation. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, I, I would suggest starting at Stonehenge, right? Because we don't have that much information on Seahenge, mm -hmm. but Stonehenge is well known to probably the group out in the side could, chat and to most people. They could know we what start it is. before Stonehenge, though? Yes, we could. We could actually start at this Gobo 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 Gobekli go Tepe go go Wells go. oldest temple. Yeah, Gobekli. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that was that word. G O B E K L Y L I. Gobekli go Tepe. Okay. The world's first Can temple. Are we starting there? Yeah, we're, we're doing this one here that I'm showing to the outside peanut gallery. Right, there we go. There's a little monument thing with some pictures on it. Looks like some sort of carving. I can't uh, tell what like it is. Some form of bison. Uh, could be an elephant. Mm. Don't you? No. Well, I was going to say a duck because everyone sees a chicken, and I always say I see a duck. But, I reckon well, it looks like a fish. What? <laughs> fish, fish with legs and horns. Well, you know. I think it different. looks like an ostrich at the bottom there. <laughs> what with them big long legs? No, oh yeah, it's got a, having a It's got its head in something else, though. Uh, yeah. that's, that, 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 yeah, that that bottom one does look like a a ostrich. But that that top one does look like a, a bull or a buffalo. Yep. Yeah. Or a cow. Uh, I, I say it's a duck. Anyway. All right. Go Beckley Tempe, ten kilometres from Urfa, an ancient city in southeastern Turkey, is the home of what some have described as the world's oldest temple. One that perhaps predates villages dated to 11,000 years ago, 6,000 years older than Stonehenge, and five years, 5,000 years older than the first Egyptian pyramids. It sits on the summit of a hill and consists of megaliths carved from with images. It was built by. A Sorry. It was built by a mysterious group of hunter-gatherers millennia before metal tools or even pottery were invented. Oh shit, my eyes are watering already. <laughs> Sorry. I can only read that. I can only just read one paragraph. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll get on the next one. Uh, yeah. So, Lobeki Tepe is <coughs> on the northern edge of the Fertile Crescent, described in the main excavation site, Andrew Curry wrote in Smithsonian Magazine. In the pits, standing stones or pillars are arranged in circles. Beyond, uh, on, uh, beyond, on the hillside, are four other rings of partially excavated pillars. 
Each ring has a roughly similar layout. In the centre, there are two large stone T-shaped pillars encircled by slightly smaller stone facing, uh, stones facing inwards. The tallest pillars tower 16 feet and weighs between 7 and 10 tonnes. As we walk among them, I see that some, some are blank while others are elaborately carved. Foxes, lions, scorpions, vultures abound, twisting and crawling on the pillar's broadside. Now, well, we, got any, go. we, we haven't got any more pictures for any of this stuff, have we? That's all we've got. Just well, facts and details. Um... You know, you know that you know that little 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 thing called Googling. Google Google Images. Yeah, well, we'll have to look into because we're not going to read all this. Look at it. Look. Oh no! Oh, look, no! Look, no! Look, no! Look, oh. look! I'm not doing any homework today. I'm just <laughs> just just, oh, just, just reading what the teleprompter tells me. Yeah, I know. Look yeah, how I'm much there I'm, is. I'm not going. We're not oh, going to get. Sorry. We're not going to get through all this to read. I'm uh -huh. sorry, it was huge, but it was the first one I came across. No, that's, that's fine. It's just, I didn't oh, realize... he didn't cherry pick it properly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Flat Earth, I forgot Flat Earth lesson number one. Yeah, you got to cherry pick it. Cherry pick only information that's well, relevant. What to we'll do one. is we'll just leave it on there, and I'll scroll down a few. I'll scroll down three sections at a time, and we can just cherry pick some. We'll, we'll put any data in it that makes sense. Um, no. No. Nah. No. No. Nah. Like, 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 what's birds mean? <laughs> right. And, and and what's this net thing? I mean, what? What okay, is it? Okay. The, like, the images on the, in the megalith. Are, the images in the megalith are difficult to interpret, as they were made six thousand years before the invention of writing, which is more time than has elapsed since the invention of writing and today. See, there you go. That's, infam that's relevant. So, so, yeah, well, the, fa the fact that pictography has been around for th tens of thousands of years. Yep. I mean, look at, look at the Aboriginal yes. cave paintings. Some of them are, are aged to 30 to 35,000 years ago. Yeah. The, the one acre... The one, the one acre similar, is... similar age. Sorry, Al. Similar age cave paintings in southwest Europe as well. The one acre excavation covers less than three, uh, oh, five, oh, sorry, five percent of the site. Thus far, penetrating radar and geomagnetic surveys have revealed 16 other megalith rings buried over 22 acres. It's a lot of circle work. They must have been doing a few burnouts. Yeah, the boys. <laughs> so we've got some more recent sources those. on prehistory. Yeah. So we do have some oh, Wikipedia. <laughs> Wikipedia. This leads you to Wikipedia, and then you have to go to Wikipedia to find some more resources to go. Well, somewhere. no, because that's that's the wiki on prehistory, and then that 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 prehistory will. Take you, probably take you back to this page, but all well, the other pages, such as the Aztecs and and early um, uh, Central American stuff from ten thousand years ago. Yeah, we got a map. I don't know if I can make that bigger. Can't click on it. It's not. So it's down near the Turkish Syrian border there. Might be able to make it. There's loads of images on Google, but obviously can't link them and I can't show them. So it's quite big. Oh, that's a bit bigger. Yeah, that's fine, Terry. Uh, so going by the little insert picture, that's that's the Mediterranean Ocean. See? Yeah. The red lump is Turkey. All right. Just north of Syria. Yeah, right. And Iraq. Just, just north of the Syrian, just north of the Syrian border. Wow! Thank God it's not south of the Syrian border, or it's probably been destroyed by now. Hmm. 
because just because um, just because reasons yeah sometimes reasons is a good excuse oh, i can read that better now <laughs> the words are bigger So Smith believes, so this person, that the Gobekli Tempe was established by hunter-gatherers as a sacred place and was formed before ancient man settled into villages and started farming and domesticating animals. This is the first human-built holy place. It has come to the conclusion, based on the fact many images may have symbolic meaning, the presence of vulture in the carvings, for example, Hinted spirituality in that culture. River. Okay. This is sort of digressing off the actual sun. Yes, yes. Part, so, okay. Far enough into this. Yeah, I think that's a bit... That's digressing off that. Okay. But Next. pretty much any culture that had um, a ceremonial centre like that would have been using the sun to work out when they had to do their ceremony. I'm just giving it a quick pre-free to see if there's anything else. No, oh, we've got two Peters in. Yeah, I couldn't figure that Peters. out. How did we end up I'm, with two Peters? The, okay, so I'm twice the man I normally am at the moment. Because oh, he's swapping. I'm, he's swapping. Yeah. I'm cheating. I'm using my phone so that my Bluetooth headset can work and sound somewhat clear. And I'm using my computer to do any extra research for Terry. Mm -hmm. So I'm cheating. And to see the screen shares. Yeah, it's Penguin asking if you're a binary system. No, he's bipolar system. I'm beside, <laughs> I'm beside myself with excitement. <laughs> Nine yes, out of ten of the voices yes. in my head agree. <laughs> <laughs> and you've scared, and Peter, Peter, being beside yourself, you've scared my kittens. They think it was aliens. Aliens? Oh, hang on. I don't know if I can talk out of two mics at the same time, but if I... I'm 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 scared I'm gonna give you feedback if I even try to tell you the truth. We know Terry doesn't like feedback. <laughs> Technical feedback or verbal feedback? No, uh, both. <laughs> uh. Oh, I found a skull. Mm, this like a oh, lizard look. sugar skull. <laughs> it's, it's the sun. Look, somebody Ooh. found a skull. Carved skulls. Creepy. Yeah, I can only find a religion preceded agriculture. I'm only flicking through it, so bear with me. Well, there's a lot of information here about all bits and pieces they're saying. Mini ice ages. People are coming in late tonight. I already let rig in. Uh, okay. All right. I'll stop sharing that. We'll go to something else. Right. What else have I got here? Ugh. 
SG. That was that. Now, got any dates? Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now I've got no dates for that page, so I'll go back to this one. Now, everybody should know these. What these are. And I'll ask Alan because Alan would. Well, oh, there you go. Is Alan closer to these or is Pip closer? Oh, I'm much closer. Alan. Okay. And have you actually ever been to them, Alan? I've, no. driven, I've driven past them, but I've never stopped. This is where we really need my daughter because Rosie has actually been involved in an archaeological dig. On Salisbury Plain. Oh. Chun. Okay. But um, no, I I know a bit about it. Um, everybody thinks it was designed for celebrating the summer solstice, but the latest theories suggest that it was actually designed for doing the winter solstice. Oh. Because obviously yeah. the two, well, the the, the 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 sun alignments exactly opposite, or the win, uh, for the summer sunrise and the winter sunset. I think it is, yeah. Maybe so, we might so be able to find something on YouTube, like a little bit of an investigation from some sort of. Uh, we may be able to play or not, not. I don't know. Not anything. Not any. Not anything that won't get you a um, mm. copyright strike, because okay. all of the documentaries I've seen on it have been on Channel Four or the BBC, oh. and you know what they're like. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll see if NASA did anything on it. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just saying that pretty much everything I can think of that is about that that, that would be useful because there is a there is a really good documentary, but it pretty sure it was Channel Four and. Um, the, I don't mean to muddy the, the waters, but and I'm half asleep. But weren't there some um, subterranean? Like roundhouses made out of stone off some islands in, was it Orkney or something that are even older than Stonehenge? And when the on the solstice the sun comes right into the entrance of the the little burrow. Yes, there are. In you are completely correct. It's the the um. The, oh, that yes, they're in the Orkneys. Okay. I forget what they actually call them, but yes, they are slightly older. And of course, um, the very earliest Egyptian pyramids predate Stonehenge by about a thousand years. Right. I was thinking that so this was so this was being done around the same time as the Egyptians were doing the pyramids. Because Stonehenge as, as a site was inactive was was apparently in active use for at least a couple of thousand years. As a religious site. But we've got no evidences of the Egyptians using anything similar to this, have we? Um, no, but of course the Egyptians actually, the, the, the the chief Egyptian god was Ra, who was the god of the sun. So, okay. Um, I, I think you'll actually find that there was a particular Egyptian pyramid that was uh, uh, <coughs> it, uh, uh, one of one of its one of its sides uh, coincides with the equinox. Very probably. So, oh, during um, equinox, it's I'm, always lit. Yeah, uh, I think I've. I think there's somebody else might say it as well. 
But I see uh, X -Peng another X Penguin says the place in the Hebrides is Scarabray. More of a stir than a question. You don't want anything about ancient aliens in Stonehenge, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, now, that's really going down a rabbit hole then if you go down that road. <laughs> well, like, a, oh, like I said, no. more of a stir than a question. Yeah. I don't want the aliens that go take me away and probe me. Uh, <laughs> where's where's the one ex penguin? Scara bra. If I copy and paste oh, that, Scara Bray. If I copy and paste that, I'm. Are oh, you already doing it, Pete? No, oh, no, no. I'm trying to actually find you. Okay, I think I'll... I found another one you can play for okay. Stonehenge. Well, I'll, I'll copy paste X Penguins. Do what yeah. I get for that. Yes, Peter. Stay away from the aliens. Okay, we've got Scarborough images, Scarborough prehistoric village map. Facts, houses. It's not saying sun. It's not saying sunshine. Uh, no. I don't know what I'm going to use for this. I'll just have to leave it at that. Um, got a Wikipedia. Got plenty of images. Yeah, well, Scarra Bray's a big site. It's very well preserved. Yeah, we just need something. A lot of it. Just check for videos and see what who who made it. Uh, who's that? Can't work out who it is. That's that's the that's the video. Oops, sorry, wrong people. Outside can't see it. Okay. It's got a watermark in the corner. I can't work out who they are. Mesolomania. Megalomania. Just scroll down a little bit so that you can see the... Um... Copyright. Yeah. All rights don't... reserved. Yeah, yeah when you say, see that, I'd, yeah, you I'd say we've got a problem with that, that one. Okay, go back. These are all just a couple of minute videos. Looks like it's mostly about the houses and not so much the sun. Yeah, that's what I'm... Well, I could also what type in, about... type in Scarborough um, sun um, and just put sun after it and then see if yeah. anything links. Oh, yeah. Um, I would put burial, actually, Terry, because it's the uh, burial sites that um... so put Scarborough burial and then sun burial oh. no I wouldn't put burial That'd yeah because be... it's the it's the um... because it's the uh, the maze how chamber that's it the ki there there you go Maze how? That's the bit that you want to look for. Now by Historic Environment Scotland. That's, yeah, you'd probably be all right with that one mm -hmm. because that's, um, It's got music, something there, licensed album, there's some music in it. Yeah, so I wouldn't have the audio on with the music playing. Content is copyright. 
of the, oh, the Centre for thing. Digital Creation. Yeah, this content is copyright. Any private is selected to. You have to email them. It, well, at least they put the email there, which is what, which would be good on most of them, because you could email them and ask them, could you use it? But would you have to pay for it? That's the thing. Yeah. Probably. Okay. Uh, what about images then? That's about all we got left. Well, I would try for images of Maze How. It would make life a lot easier for you to find, because Maze How is the place that thing he was talking about. It's the burial chamber where the sun shines down the corridor. Yeah, don't underline images. So I'll have Maze to How. Don't, 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 don't. There. Oh, up. Up. Let See, it says Scarabri Burial. Up. Up. What do you left. mean up? Left, left a bit, left a bit. <laughs> no, no le above the images it says Maze How. Second word, up, second there. step one. Click there. Yeah, we need something. Standing stones. Yeah, we need something to go with it. Standing stones beside it. Yeah, okay. well, just put my, no, they, they're not standing stones at Scarabray, I don't think. Although there are some standing stones. I do have a video <coughs> for the Stonehenge if you're interested, Terry. It's, it's a, a very broad history about it, though. Yeah, okay. Need to type that word in. Copy the word. Hold on. Just give me a minute and I'll start looking for stuff in YouTube for that. M A. Oh, shit. Now I can't see how to spell it. <laughs> e S. E S. Space? A space. Uh-huh. S-H-A-W. Oh, W, sorry. Make sure, son. Let's see what I get with that. Well, that didn't work. Nope. <laughs> uh, maybe I needed the other I one. put an E in the end of Shaw. Sure. Do I have an E, maybe? Coming up, sun, different word. <laughs> that didn't work. No, it's how. That's mouse. Oh, no one knows. Sure, okay, I'll put I'll put maze how there. So it's M A E S H O W E. M A E S H O W E. Get an R in the mirrors. Oh, no R. Sorry. Go, bro. I mean, that's how our burials sign. Maybe the bear. Oh. Here we go. Hello. Got something. Got a bit more. Now we need. We'll go to There's all. There's actually quite a bit on YouTube, Terry. Okay, we'll go to Wikipedia. But this has got some new um, YouTube videos, has it, for this? Yes, it does. All right, okay, we'll go um, through the... We'll I'm, look I'm looking at part one at the moment, and that's uh, ten minutes long. Is it copyrighted? I'm checking. Okay. So, it's in Old Norse, is a Neolithic chamber. Can... And passage grave situated on mainland Orkney, Scotland. It was built around 2800 BC. Okay, it gives its name to the type of chamber. Uh, 
Don't need the design and construction. Style. Station. World Heritage status. Okay, that didn't really help. Oh, we got something here. Spring Equinox. Let's It's going through the different news postulated for the first elements. Around, oh, that's the name of it. What it means. So maybe the name might may help. Celtic origins, the Welsh word meaning field, area of activity. Be followed by an adjective such as far field. Uh, also, it may show it might mean the burial mound. Okay. Nothing to do with sun yet here that I can see. I cannot see anything to do with what he t saying about the sun part of it. It was first opened in 1861. Equinoxes? Oh, wait a minute, we've got something. Equinoxes here indicate summer solstice. Oh, that's what I already read, that stuff. Uh, 1971, extensively studied numerous documents relating to the measurement and exploration of the Great Pyramid Giza. He stated that the Central Operation Chamber at Malsha was corbeted like the Great Pyramid's Grand ga Gallery and was carefully levelled, plumbed, and the jointing is of a quality that rivals the Great Pyramid. Um, Thompson suggested the structure containing small tiring rooms for the observers. He suggested the entrance was very similar to a pyramid. It had a 54 foot observation passage aimed like a telescope at a megalithic stone 2772 feet away to indicate the summer solstice. Okay, well there's some there's page 130 or something here so I don't know what that means. Uh, in addition to its watchstone, the west that indicated the equinoxes, the sighting passage, points to the north to a northern star, like pyramids. Okay, there. So that's the only bits that's mentioning. Okay, so there is there is some information here that's leading to some usages of. Equinoxes and solstice. So we're going to have to look into this a bit more if we want to. Uh, okay, something else here. Described in detail how Malta and other ancient mounds and Neolithic megaliths across Britain served as extremely accurate observatories, calendars and straight line beacons for travellers as well as how they were used ceremonially in May Day celebrations more than 40, 4,000 4, years ago. Well, okay. Now I don't think we've got any image. Winter solstice. Got anything to do with blue bits are not really helping. Now you're mentioning we may have a YouTube help. So, 
I'm halfway through the second one and they're not really mentioning anything about solar systems or yeah, well, this, this anything it does mention that it's got some there's some evidences of solstice and equinox equinox so that's the that's the interesting part that I'd like to f find it a little bit about if possible what's the images go to for that um. that was the that was the images so we can share the images that's oh. that's fine this is what we're looking at so we'll just go through a few of these and if there's any from point out the sun oh is this what it is it's a burial mound yeah okay so it's a mound and and there are ah oh, right okay I've, I've seen i haven't seen things like this but i've heard of things through time team doing similar things to this but i don't know if they've mentioned this or not so if you just give me a moment terry yeah i'll just go through the images And where did it say where these were, Pip? Did you pick up on where they said this was? So, the chamber and tombs of... Is it Man's How? Mace, in the yeah, Mace, of... yeah, Mace How. Yeah, that's it. Mace, Mace How? is in the heart of the Neolithic Auklik world history site, along, along with the standing stones of Pip. You should be reading this. I'm going to butcher it. Oh, I know. That's why I was um, waiting for Pip to jump in, because this is this is in Scotland. Along with the standing stones of Stennis, the ring of... Oh, I don't even think Scottish we could try to <laughs> We have to wait till Pip interprets the words for us. <laughs> Board, Board guard <laughs> and barn house settlements. Oh, barn house. That sounds like it was easy to yeah. read. Um, yeah, that one is. Okay. Um, well, I found some more rocks that look different. The Scarrett Bray prehistoric village and it allows visitors to understand the landscape of the landscape and the movements of our ancestors more than 5,000 years ago. We've got here BBC winter solstice at Maytow on Orkney. So this, this is the winter solstice. Yep. So I'm going to find, I'm going to have to be, to be explained what winter solstice means. All right. So, so Terry, I've actually got something that may help here. It's a, uh, a 3D scanning of the, of the um, chamber itself. Oh, they've done one of those laser scanning things. Yep, so it does have music, so turn that off. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Oh, hang on. License to. Yeah, the music or the oh. or the actual um, video. Um. On the behalf of Delphine. Solar Music Rights Management. Here, my music publishing. No, I think it's just the music that's got copyright on it but it must mean that in the middle of winter or the middle half of the year sun will, on, at sunset is the middle of winter solstice that's right or not 
and it shines down the passage. That's the only image we've got. That's you down. should be able to play it, Terry. The audio, the music's right down low. So. Yeah, I'll just it's go out for a minute. Yeah. yeah. The internal chat. Uh, yeah, the last one in the internal chat. Okay, so two minutes. Yeah, this is what we were playing before. Not sure about. Got music in it. Yeah, this content is copyright. Yeah, we can't play that. Yeah, we already looked at that. It's got an email account, uh, email address. So that's something you'd have to pre-plan. If that's a learning curve, that if we want to pick a topic, and we can get an email address to, to people to show content or talk about it, well, that's what we're going to have to do. Okay. No, I can't play that. Bugger. Getting images, but nothing linking me to anything that will help. Only that Wikipedia page. That was the only page that had anything with information. But I think we've got what we can get out of it. It's, it's winter solstice sunset. It's his latest pictures. So in Jan 6th of January. Oh, where is it? There we go. Can't get the image to be able to open the image in new tab. Uh, that didn't make it much better. So what they're saying is on the 6th of January, the sun at sunset, the sun shines down through that passageway. That's the winter solstice. So that's the sun being used for a time of year. Interesting. Okay. <coughs> well, I think we're not going to get much more out of that. Have we bored everyone? You know, Terry, we could probably sneak away right now and no one would know. Would notice. Yeah, I think we could. I Let's would go. notice. Just, just put Let some... <laughs> There was a voice from beyond. <laughs> I forgot about that link. <laughs> hey, wait I a minute. I told you I, can... I was going to be quiet. Yeah, wait a minute. I can fix that. There you are. They, don't, they can't hear us now. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> That's not fun. Um... Bored to death, Mandelbrot said. Well, sorry, I was trying to lead up to things to do with the sun, but it's the information that's hard to, to get hold of things. relevant to what we need. And all I'm getting is this stuff here, so we might have to jump ahead a few years and see if we can find something, because I thought this was a... <laughs> Put the phone down, make a coffee and come back, no one will notice, that's what Theodore said. <laughs> well, I thought it was an interesting start. Yeah. Just that we just yeah. can't get the right information unless you go watch bloody copyright strike YouTube videos with it for it, which is no no good to me. And how rude is that that they won't share? 
Yeah, how rude. Um, where are we? Videos, okay. They're all to do with environment, Scotland, uploaded by Victor, somebody. What's this one? Who's this guy? How to a style. Reappearing sunlight, December 1st, 1998. The first ever videotaped event. Surely we wouldn't get a strike on this. You'd think? From a person, from a... It was done in 90, it was done... In 1998. Might be alright. How to style. It was done by a person with 148 subscribers. That's alright, you got more <laughs> subscribers than him, so you can steal his stuff. It's fine. I except think you'd be fairly safe. Except for the music. I think we I think we'll scratch the music. Put it back to the beginning. Uh, sorry I can't play its music because it's that's about the only contentious part of it that would be a problem. We can understand his graphics. Orkney, December 1st, 1998. First setting sun. Chamber. That's the sun's angle, I'd say. Wait, are we looking down or sideways? Side view. I'm not too sh hmm. not too sure. There's no it? there's no commentary. That's just music. We just have to guess what's going on. It is playing, I think. It's not. Oh, it's just come up on YouTube. Yeah, but I mean, it is playing. I haven't got it paused. It's actually time. It's actual time. Real time. <laughs> Watch it in him real time. Well, it could, well could you can see the shadow fast. moving slowly. Well, I'm not watching it full screen. I'm only watching it miniature screen in because I I can't watch it full screen oh yeah I can do theater mode that help helps me so that's the sun's already set or was the sunrise? I think that's sunrise too. I thought they were talking about sun setting for the equinox. Or solstice. Winter solstice, sorry. Now, if we lower our elevation, the sun will set again. Everyone hop off your chair and sit on the floor and the sun will set again. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to go stand up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the bottom of the sun. <laughs> This is like watching paint dry. It is a bit. It is playing. But what's this got to do with the chamber? Just the sun rising. 
That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't think this person put enough thought into his video. Is the sun rising or setting? Can't figure out what's going on here. I thought the sun was rising. Uh, I, I don't know. What is what he was doing? I can't read that. Reappearing sunlight. It's good to have it, but we've just got no explanation of what we're seeing. Where the sun lines up, maybe, I should say. Nineteen ninety eight, it's a shame the quality back then was so poor. Was he was he inside the chamber? Yeah, I think he's inside the chamber there, Terry. Oh, so hard, hard in front of you. In front of you on the left-hand side, if I'm not mistaken, that's his white jacket or jumper. He's got his arms stretched out and hands or something right in front of him there. Hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know. I've just adjusted my gain all the way up so I could kind of make out what he is, but still. Looks like a demon now. Got a graphics here. Okay. I wouldn't fail it, I just don't understand it. That was th that one, reappearing sunlight. Mm, yeah, I don't know. There's no, not enough information to go with that one. Um. Well, did you want. Did you want to move on and maybe look at coming back yeah, to this later? Yeah, we're we... going to have to do some more homework about this era of the sun being used in for this in this context. Okay, then. Well, that that put us that got us down a little bit of a rabbit hole. Not too bad. Can't complain. Oh. Okay, well, I'll leave it. I'll leave that there for now. That tab. All right. Okay. What's next? Um, what do I have going here? We had the stone edge hinge stuff, but like we said, we can't really do much with that. Um, see if we can get some stone heads. I'll Google stone hinge, and we'll see what we get. Stone hinge. <coughs> Probably get a lot for Stonehenge. But I'll go back to the stone. Hundred? Stonehenge can oh, there it is. Stonehenge. History of Stonehenge. Is Stonehenge is perhaps the world's most famous prehistoric monument. It was built in several stages. The first monument was an early henge monument built about five thousand years ago, and the unique stone circle was erected in the late Neolithic period, about 25,000, 2500 BC. 
So there was an early monument there, but then a unique stone circle was erected as well. After, in the early Bronze Era, many burial mounds were also built nearby. Okay. And what's that image showing? There's Stonehenge there. I don't know what that's showing. Can't see. The greater or Stonehenge curses a huge rectangular earthwork enclosure seven 1.7 miles long seen from the air in 2000. Before Stonehenge. No, we don't need to know before Stonehenge. Artifacts. Stone settings. In about 2500 BC, the stones were set up in the centre of the monument. Two types of stone are used, the larger sarsens and the smaller blue stones. The sarsens were erected in two concentric arrangements, an inner horseshoe and an outer circle. Blue stones were set up between them in a double arc. Okay. And about two or three hundred years later, the central blue stones were arranged to form a circle and inner oval. Uh, the Earthwork Avenue was also built at the time, connecting Stonehenge with the River Avon. Other things around that area too, they will... The Normanton Down Burrow lie in the crest of the low ridge just south of the Stonehenge excavation. Of these early Bronze Age burrows had produced several rich finds including beads and other personal ornaments. Okay. Sounds like pagan ritual almost. Or pagan ceremonies. No, no um, theory to how they were used. A lot of this information is just going by um, dating materials and landscape around it but I think we need some more information. Okay, all videos, some videos there is. Guide to Stonehenge. National Geographic. Okay. Don't want UK news because that's www.independentcode.uk. And we don't need to know revealing who built it. We need to know 
Jimmy's. Okay, scientists finally cracked Stonehenge mystery. Who that? Well, here they are. Six point nine million subscribers. Ooh. That sounds a little bit too much. It's educational. Subscribe. Okay, graphic show. That Insta. Don't want that. Me. Hey. We don't want to know who built them. Decoding. Ah, who's this? Okay, this might. Why do these people have so many subscribers that upload this stuff? I think we might have to start moving on from this top share. Yeah. I think we're going to have to go in a different direction. Need to find something stupid to laugh at. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of that out there. <laughs> well, it's getting on. It's getting on to nine o'clock here, anyway. So that's this is the normal time we used used to start st streaming. I don't know where everyone else is tonight. They're they all on holiday. It's only f 5 o'clock in the morning for the Americans and it's only 10 a.m. in the morning for the British. Uh, I tried staying up after 12 o'clock so everyone starts coming on, but then I, I can't stay up much later. I lose too much <laughs> sleep. I've got to get up early in the mornings at the moment. My drugs have hit me by then usually. Pardon? My drugs usually oh. me before then. Yeah, <laughs> half the time, half the time I forget to take mine. I should take them before. Oh, I have an alarm set. <laughs> oh, mine's just I've got to take them before I go to bed. That's, that's the main main thing I do. But if the later I take them, the worse I am because the certain ones I take keep me asleep and if I take them too late I wake up it I can wake up but I'm half I'm still half too too asleep I, I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> half zombified yeah and I don't want to be driving into Wollongong like that I need to be awake for that Are you still there Peter Yeah, I'm here. Which Peter's still here? There's one of them's there and one of them's here. No. no. Which which are you? No, so so <laughs> I'm, I'm on the Earth with the magnetic waves coming out. Of oh, okay, you're that Peter. Okay. With the magnetic fluxes here. We should change your name on the other one so we know you're not so oh, not Peter. Sorry, not, not Peter. Okay, hang. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'll fix that. <laughs> Right. Oh, not Peter. <laughs> so people will look at that one and go, not Peter. Okay, that's not Peter. Oh, there's Peter. I think we might have to go down a different road. 
We'll have to pull yeah. into the we'll have to pull into the garage and grab a grab a map and see where we're going. Because we're not really getting anywhere here. Because every video I find is is either too much to even that one. I, it's it's definitely not Pete and Peter. We're not going there. <laughs> and who said Peter and Pete? Adora. Uh, <laughs> we're not Pete. doing that. If we do a Peter and Pete. Yes. Yes, like that. No, yes, like that. No. Did you know water's not H2O? <laughs> I've, 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 what, um, what was the other one? Carbon um, dioxide. Oh, shit, I can't remember. We did one. It was um, carbon. Yeah. But his video, the videos are a bit too long, aren't they, to watch, aren't they? They're not five, ten minute videos, are they? I can't remember now. Some are, some are, some aren't. Most aren't. Yeah. I think we might have to do a bit of comic relief for now. Uh, what have we got for now till we think of what we're doing? I'll go and check well, over. Well, yeah, I'll go and check over in homework or. Well, I was going to say I'm not running around naked this time. I haven't drunk enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who have we got? What do we got here? Who's been putting anything out recently? Oh, we've got blues. We could always play play blues last video. Yeah, well, for now. Yeah, we can do till that. Till we till we work out where, where we're going. So we'll play blues, blues video and then we'll see where we're going. We know we're not going to get copyright strike for blue. We can bag him out while we're playing it anyway. He's not here. Nah, well, it might make him turn up. <laughs> Well, he said he had a brain brain freeze from all that arguing with that bloke. What uh, arguing? He never got to talk. Oh, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen that, Laurie. We might be able to play a bit of that. I'll have to just play the bit that went in that when it was in the conference bit because it was. It's a bit of, bit of a laugh out of that. Might be able to get away with it. Um, can you check while we're watching this to see if that... I did Google it and play it. I have watched it, the Jimmy uh, Kimmel video. He's, it's his last one he did, and they went to the Flat Earth Conference, and this person... I think that was the person that owned that wreck that was out the front. Um, oh, okay. And and he walks around the flat Earth conference, causing nuis causing a bit of a nuisance. And he's got and it's got um, Mark Sargent in it. Um, and I did see a glimpse of that tall, skinny guy with the suit on. Um, what uh, what's his name? Ah, oh, shit. Robbie Davidson. Yeah, Robbie Davidson. Yeah, that's him. Shit, was that Pip? It was me, yeah, sorry, I was away making breakfast, I forgot to do it. Uh, we were talking Bye. about stuff and we wanted to know stuff and you weren't there to answer the stuff. I'm sorry, I forgot to put <laughs> I'm back now. What you poor, to poor Peter's trying to read Scottish words here and there and he <laughs> bastardised them and, and I'm asking a question about this and that and I'm I, sure I, Pete I would have known. I absolutely bastardised it. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted, I was hungry. Keep it going, Pete. It'll make it feel like that Pip was really needed and it'll make it feel guilty. Oh, I was trying to say... <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was trying to say words like, look, look, look low and, 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 and stuff like that. And it was just all coming out wrong, Pip. Uh, uh. We have to get... Uh, I can't get the... Got to get the crack out. And look low and, 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 and crap like That's that. Him. And I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't crack right. It was to do with that mound, that mound with the summer sol uh, winter solstice, wasn't it? All right, Equinox, me and Whatever. The one we were Googling I was, before. Yeah, I yeah. was I was actually trying to... We tried to manage and muddle on without you, Pip, but, around it. but if you were here, Pip, right. it would have helped us out a real lot, but we, we tried to manage, but it would have been so much yeah, better. Yeah, Pip, they need a woman. 
<laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> I'll rewind later and see what you got stuck in the lighting on Discord. Oh, <laughs> dude. Shit. We're going to get peer reviewed, Pete. Anyway, yep. we'll play we'll play Bob the Science Guy till we work out what we're doing. Or blue even. Oh no, not blue. <laughs> not Bob the Science Guy. Oh shit. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll play blue then. Okay, we'll play blue. As soon as I've got blue ready Let's to go. Blue, in. I'll be in in three, two, one. Go. Come in. You blew that. <laughs> yeah, I did blow it. <laughs> Here we go. Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. You know my three favorite globe deniers are Nathan Oakley, Quantum Eraser, and Sleeping Warrior. Still don't understand air. Why is that not surprising? Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect to get out those oven mitts. Push the monitors back out of punching range. And Gladys? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's light this dumpster fire and have a little fun. A couple of weeks ago, I was on the Jose J.G. Gonzalez live show. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Jose's show, you ought to. There's a link on the screen, and I'll leave it in the comments section. <laughs> also, uh, he has some pretty lively discussions about Flat Earth and other things. But on that particular day, Jose was asking each panel member one simple question, and he wanted an answer in less than 60 seconds. So, let's play what we said. Big Blue, to... Big Blue how can we have gas pressure without a container? You hear that question asked. <clears throat> what do you think about it? Well, gas pressure requires a container if you're talking about pressurized gas what you have here is a false equivalence you've got quantum eraser drawing uh, trying to say gas pressure in a, in a container is the same as get as atmospheric pressure and they are not the the pressures are are similar in nature they're created by my by gas molecules bouncing off of surfaces but the method of generating that pressure is totally different the atmosphere depends strictly on gravity. Gravity is the container in that case, if you want to think of it that way. But it's not even really that. It's simply the acceleration of gravity pulling down on a mass of the gas, just like it pulls down, just like it accelerates everything else toward the Earth. That's all. That's all you need. Well, that seemed like a pretty straightforward response to me, but of course, QE didn't understand a word of it. So let's listen to QE as he tries to dissect this. QE, you're up. Oh, and by the way, stop doing that. You're going to get stuck in that position. Hillbilly Blue Balls, the Redneck Retard, dated December 30th, 2019. Big I Blue, to Big Blue how can we have gas pressure without a container? You hear that question asked. <clears throat> what do you think about it? Well, gas pressure requires a container. If you're talking about pressurized gas, what you have here is a false equivalence. So now gas pressure requires a container. Haven't you made a video titled Gas Pressure Without a Container? With two containers, by the way. The can of butane and the pipe, remember? Also, a false equivalence. To have a false equivalence, you need a comparison or a juxtaposition between two things. You only have gas pressure in a container. Or are you saying that the false equivalence is between the gas pressure and the container? I don't know, man. Uh, this is quite troubling, you know, on a second grade coherence level. Well, QE on a second grade level, your ability to comprehend simple English is rather disturbing. I'll grant I you that. that I drew a very clear distinction between pressurized gas in a closed system versus atmospheric pressure. In a closed system, we have several options available to us to achieve a pressure inside that closed system that is different from the pressure on the outside of it. One way we could do that is simply by pumping more gas into the closed volume. Another way is to reduce that volume to some other value 
and that will increase the pressure. A third way would be to increase the temperature of the gas in that volume. That would also increase the pressure. Atmospheric pressure is completely different. Atmospheric pressure occurs simply due to the acceleration of gravity. That pipe I showed you is an open system. The top of it is wide open, yet we can measure a pressure in that pipe. That pressure is simply the acceleration of gravity, keeping the butane in the pipe, QE. Now that's what was demonstrated. You know what? Even Nathan has started to figure this out. Listen to this. Now then, in the meantime, in that break, we had a, a question from Bearded Devil, who gave a £10 super chat to ask this, Nathan. So, please explain the difference between terms atmospheric pressure, gas pressure, and pressurised gas. Keyword difference. Difference between atmospheric pressure, gas, gas pressure. pressure, and pressurised gas. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A pressurized gas would be a gas that's been like forced into a container. So you've got more of the gas compacted closer together. So that would be my understanding of a pressurized gas. Gas pressure is just the force it exerts on the walls of its container, you know, measured in things like PSI. And what was the third one? Atmospheric pressure. That's just the, the pressure in our general surroundings. Hope that's satisfactory. No, no. The last one Maybe. was pressurized gas. Pressurized yeah. gas, atmospheric First. pressure, and gas pressure. Yeah, I did that one first. So pressurised gas is like something that's been forced into a container. So you've got more of the gas, i.e. the molecules are forced to be closer together. That would be a pressurised gas. Well, there you go, Kiwi. Even somebody as dumb as Nathan seems to be catching on. I'll tell you what, why don't you go ahead? Trying to say gas pressure in a, in a container is the same as, gas, as atmospheric pressure, and they are not. Oh, really? So... Atmospheric pressure is different than gas pressure? Isn't the atmosphere made of gases, making it gas pressure? So how can gas pressure be different than gas pressure? The, the pressures are, are similar in nature. They're created by, my, by gas molecules bouncing off of surfaces. But the method of generating that pressure is totally different. So in both instances... Gas pressure is created by gas molecules bouncing off surfaces. But the method of generating the gas pressure is totally different. Did you know that a synonym for generate is create? So essentially you said gas pressure is created by gas molecules bouncing off surfaces. But the method of creating the gas pressure is totally different. Can I ask you something? you make synthetic fur balls for ceramic cats? The atmosphere depends strictly on gravity. Gravity is the container in that case, if you want to think of it that way. But it's not even really that. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. So gravity is your container now? But it's not even really that? Does that make any sense to you? How about gravity as a container? Right? Let's look up container. In Cambridge Dictionary, a hollow object such as a box or a bottle that can be used for holding something, especially to carry it or store it. So that denotes physicality to me. So the thing that's really not that, can you provide chemical structure, formula, charge, mass, momentum, or spin for gravity to give it physicality that's not even really that? Here's a container that meets your definition, QE. Let's see if it works. Let's try onions. They work pretty good. What about some mints? Oh yeah, definitely a good container for onions and mints. Let's try a little salt. Uh-oh. Doesn't seem to be a very good container for salt, Huey. You want to tell me again how an open-ended pipe is a gas container? It's simply the acceleration of gravity pulling down on a mass of the gas, just like it pulls down, just like it accelerates everything else toward the earth. That's all. That's all you need.
Though it's the acceleration of a non-physical container that's not really that. Pulling down on a mass of a gas towards the Earth? <laughs> so while the quantum pretender clown is busy trying to misunderstand the difference between gas pressure and atmospheric pressure, our friend Sloppy, the pseudo-lawyer, is over in Randy Flat Earth's channel, uh, having a bit of a tirade of his own. Let's give a little listen to that. Dickhead in chat now, Blue Marvel Science still got that video of gas pressure without a container, yet he's got a in pipe. And he ignores that that's the container that we say that you can't have to have gas pressure. And he thinks, he, he, he lies to people about telling people that it's an open container. Yeah, that doesn't matter. The point is that you have a container and you are getting the gas pressure because of it. Because if you didn't have the pipe, then you wouldn't have a container and you could not have that pressure that you are recording with your device at the bottom. But he's still got the video up. And I'm like, how can you have the gall to come in this chat and sit there and say things like, and I'll just quote what he's just what he's thought, really sloppy, I'd say you're tired of getting your butt kicked. No, I'm just sick and tired of eyes like you. Like, you should be ashamed. You are an embarrassment to humanity, but you come in here and flippantly laugh at me or Ranty or whoever, yet you've got the audacity to have a video up saying gas pressure without a container, which then some dickhead that wrote a book on, on gravity and de debunking claims of flat earthers. I mean, what flat earthers make claims? Not many claims are floating around on our side. We're just pointing out the errors in your side's claims of gravity, for example, where this dickhead then writes a book about gravity, doesn't even mention Einstein, the current science, and cite or video for gas pressure without a container. I mean, that's just the epitome of stupidity. <laughs> Yet, we're the ones that are laughed at. It's just, you are embarrassed. You Bible science. I don't even know what to <laughs> Well, sloppy. You know, instead of being all butthurt by this, why don't you just admit you guys have been wrong all this time? I mean, I've shown you gas pressure in an open system. That should not occur. That cannot occur according to you guys. And the only reason that we can observe that is due to the acceleration of gravity which you claim doesn't exist. Now look, living inside your head really isn't all that bad sloppy. There's plenty of room in here, but it does get to be a little tired for a while. So just be a nice guy and say, yep, we were wrong. You know what? Thanks for watching folks. This has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I hope you did. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. There's a link to the uh, Blue Marble Patreon account. You'll find that up in the comments section too. And I guess we'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, Gladys. We're uh -huh. out of here. Oh, they'll never get. Oh, they'll never get this gas pressure <laughs> container crap stuff. These other crazy no, unbelievable. That would, that would be a wonderful introduction to my video, Terry. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh yeah. I wonder if we've got something laying around that, that might show something like that. I'll just have a quick whiz around. Uh, might be able to get my finger on something. Uh, um, there you go. Do I do I have anything laying around with that? Maybe. Uh, interesting. 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 Turn, I think. Something popped up. Yep. Interesting. Oh, look what I found. Just turn the sand down, Terry. Yeah, who do you wonder who did this? Oh, a person named Peter Harrington. Oh,
Ah, oh, he's got he got twenty four subscribers. Bite. I think I think he needs a few not more subscribers. Well, I'm subscribed, so who else is not subscribed? Come on. I'm subscribed. Only a short video. <laughs> So give, you yeah. Stop showing me. There's an eight, 18 there. you got 18 likes now. We might play Stop this. Stop showing see, me. See if we can see. Can we see what resolution is this in so we can see the quality? Uh, 480. That's as best as uh, I can uh, give you. Here we go. What can we see? Uh Got some numbers, but I got to, I don't know what they mean. They're just numbers. I need to zoom in oh. a bit more. I think maybe Terry. Oh, I can't zoom in it. Oh. Oh, it won't let me go any further. Yeah, that that'll do. Can't. Why does it go over there? Get back here, you. I can't zoom it over. Okay. I'm going to have to redo that at a better frame rate and everything, can't I? Yeah, I can't quite get it, get it right with what I've got here. And I'll make it longer. <laughs> Yeah, I showed your channel for you. No, I'll do that. Never. <coughs> so, thanks. Oh, you done it too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh... Yeah. I wonder if I'll get the wrong one. Wait, Look, I'll There's I'm a lot sorry, of Peter Harry. In... That's right. Well, that felt like a lead uh, balloon doing that. Okay, so. <laughs> so... I have to apologise. I actually did it in Flurf, Flurf vertical frame. As well. And my um and 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 it probably didn't have the bit rates up. I mean the um the quality wasn't probably as high as it should have been either. But I did it in I, I, what I think what was it uh, from way to go? I think it was up on the screen in like about um. Four minutes or something. I have to apologize. I actually did it in. Wasn't me. I didn't do anything. Well. That was that was me again. I could hear. Oh, I just checked. I was just checking something. I didn't realize it was going to play. <laughs> it's safe now. We got a mad B. We got a mad B. No. We got a mad B. Matty. Troubles here. Hello. <laughs> mad. Hello, Everybody fell asleep and they all. I don't know where they went. Oh dear. <laughs> I was I was showing some interesting things to do with Stonehenge and some stones and some hinges and some. Mounds and a burial chamber, and it was very interesting. <laughs> it was to do with the sun. the The title of the the streams to do with the sun, and it was to yeah. do with the sun shining through things like Stonehenge and this mound that's in Scotland. I think it was, but we're not sure because Pip wasn't here. Yes, the Orkneys. The Orkneys. Yeah. Okay. The um, Orkneys. And the sun solstice, no, equinox, sorry. It was the winter's equinox on June the, uh, January the 6th shines through at a certain point to this burial chamber. Um, so we'll, we went down that road and we just weren't getting anywhere. So we we just watched um, uh, Big Blue's last video and now we're back to square one again with some sun stuff. So now we're going to have to try something else to find to talk about sun stuff 
because we don't want to jump stuff. right to present day sun stuff because that's we can lead up to that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. We're just sort of going backwards first with the sun. So first off, it was used thousands of years ago as a as an instrument for um, astronomical time timings in the year for equinoxes and solstices. Hi. So I think we might have to jump forward a bit and see what else we can come up with for the sun. It's usage, it's um, knowledge, what early earliest um, investigations to do with it or not. I don't know how what to which way to go. Really. Hmm. Because we can move right up to until today with NASA images of the sun, like the one I pinched for the to use as the um, background image for the show. That's that's from NASA. So that's modern technology's advancement to be able to take a an image of the sun. We're seeing solar flares, and, and we know we can get a spectrometry spectrometer. Type Spectrum buddy. Yeah, that's the word. Somewhere down there. Um, that's that tells us different things. So, but that's more modern type of knowledge. Um, Can you play anything from the the Smithsonian? I just see. Smithsonian. Yeah, we're Smithsonian. looking for any YouTube type stuff to give us something. The Mayans and the Sun. Yeah, we tried that. Um, it's the Smithsonian, though. I, uh, yeah, I'm doing a Riley. Alexa. How do you spell Alexa? Is it A L E X A? Uh, Alexa. Uh, a L E X A. I'd say. Mm -hmm. L E X A, yeah. Yeah, Alex A. Uh, yeah. It says you can use images, but maybe not the. What's it? <sighs> What's it? Video. Al Alan had to drop out. He was having a bit of a. Bit of a bad turn, so we'll, we'll let him. Oh, was he? Oh. Yeah, so we had to let let him go for a little bit. Ah, oh. where's everyone else? Falling asleep. I don't asleep, know, they saying? just all jumped ship. It was like as if there was a, must have been a cyclone or something. Um, anyone else? So, so demonic Long? started falling asleep and didn't want to be caught snoring. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alexa <laughs> fell asleep? And sheep <laughs> took off back to um, Jim Panda. Um, yeah. And that's about no, it. Big Blue. Uh, Big Blue said he had a bit of a a bit of a brain drain from his conversation today. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we're just I gonna listened have... to that, and God, yes. Uh, it was said... definitely a brain drain. Yes, Stewie, I'll have to che I'll <laughs> check it out, this, but I'd... it's a bugger, these videos. Who was he talking to? Um, brain, uh, leaky. Uh, brain, brain, brain Leaky. Brain Leaky. Ah, I don't know that person. Brain, brian Leak. Oh, Brain Leaky. <laughs> brain Leaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new nickname. You know, no, he was leaking rubbish, was he? Well, it wasn't even rubbish. It was just words. Oh, right. <laughs> just words. <laughs> that was it. Without the, with, without the dressing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh. No, I don't know what time I crashed out last night. It was early hours this morning oh. so that's why we're a wee bit late Alan 
Alan's not here. Sorry, Terry. I don't know why I get you two muddled up. Because <laughs> you, you don't a... sound the same. It's You've got two as, completely different sound. names. Yeah, I know. We're two different people, two different sounds. I think I think Alan's got a bit of an Eng- a British accent, I think. Yeah, something about, yeah. I mean, I think I might have a slight Aussie accent, but I'm still practising trying to improve it if I can. <laughs> I don't know why I keep calling Alan you and you Alan. That's I just don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't I'm, get it. There's too much flurf gone into on my head. I think. <laughs> you caught the flurpies. Yeah, I got the flurpies. <laughs> I'll go see the doctor. How do I get rid of the flurpies? <laughs> yeah. Stop watching YouTube. <laughs> this this brain leaky bloke was completely clueless. Because it's it, it, it's a typical Dunning Kruger effect where. You, saying mathematical stuff trying to question man- mathematical stuff but also questioning parts of mathematical stuff like oh. uh, the fo- like a formula that's squared or m- meters per second or whatever he was just trying to break it all down and contradict what it was saying and I only caught the end of it on um, Jose's live stream Rumpus was, was rumpusing, rumpusing all over the place with with um, on-screen visualizations of the formulas, and I'm thinking, Rumpus, why do you do that? Why are you going down that rabbit hole of actually trying to show stuff for him to, yeah. to look at? It's probably on his bloody mobile phone, and he's not going to look at the screen. No. And you're trying to just display a... display all this mathematical stuff. You, you just it was just a waste of time, Rumpus. And he yeah. interrupted, and, yeah. and he interrupted in his own coughing. Rumpus <laughs> is trying to talk, and, he, and his coughing interrupting interrupted him. Ah! But he didn't miss a Oops. beat. He, he kept going. <laughs> cough word, cough word, cough word. <laughs> he got it out. <laughs> <laughs> and that was about it. That was that was my afternoon's entertainment for that. Ah. I wanted to get Blue <laughs> and um, Brain Leaky on my channel. I I did organise it before in the side chat. Blue said, "Oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go." But I didn't get anything back from Leaky. Um, and before I started this stream. I had a bit of a pre-show, after-show there for a little while. Um, Aaron Moorfield, Aaron Moore, is it Aaron, Aaron from Jose's, the one that always yeah. super chats? He said, I'll see if I can get Travis to come on. And I thought, oh yeah, this will be interesting if you two can come on. Now, that was just me, and then I probably would have found somebody else maybe to come on. And I might have had a bit of a conversation going. But they never showed. No, I, I I emailed Aaron, but Aaron said he didn't get anywhere, and and I just put something in the side chat, so Travis didn't get anywhere with that. So I don't know. I'm not sure if I, I I thought I've had Travis on our show once there for a little while. I forget who it was now. I don't think it was Pete Shea. It's been on Alan's. Yeah, but I'm definitely I sure I've had someone like. Sure. I think it was Travis. The plain truth. I'm positive I had him mm-hmm. on my stream for a little while to start with. I don't know. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Now. I don't know. Hello, Gloomy. Hey, Gloomy. Um, yeah, hello. You <laughs> ate all those chicken. Was, um... chi- you ate all those chicken chips now, and you got nothing left for the show. No, I've got plenty <laughs> left. No. Um, uh, what's it? Travis came on when Aaron. I think it was Aaron talking about the Bible. Uh. And, and they had a discussion. Cause, do you remember that when they came on? And no, I said I missed it, out on the. I only got the, caught the end of with uh, rumpus rumpusing. No, no, it came onto your channel one one stream, Travis. Yeah, with, where rumpus and this other guy was arguing with blue and blue was about three. Uh, yeah. No, no, this was no, on. It wasn't that one. No, no, no. Aaron was <laughs> on here, and Travis came on, and they. Yeah, this was a while ago. Yeah, yeah. and they were discussing. Um, the Bible, I think it was. Oh, I can't remember. That's yeah. That's the only time Travis has been on. 
Okay. I'm sure, I think Sorry. it was Aaron, or it might have been another guy that was a bash in the Bible. Okay. It was, and Aaron, um, the two <laughs> was it Trump, um, not Trump, um, Travis and uh, the other guy couldn't agree about yeah. the Bible. They're both arguing about the Bible. And they... Yeah, <laughs> they had both. Yeah. They both well, had they can't agree on that, but what the hell chances right now? They yeah, both had from... different interpretations of the Bible. That's mm. right. One of them was saying you can't interpret the Bible. That's how it is. And yet here is two blokes arguing the point about the Bible, <laughs> which is why I raised it. That was three. That's where yeah. three came, because Blue was talking to this other guy about three. Because yeah. everything in the Bible is is explicitly accurate, yeah. apart from three. Except the point. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Three point one four. And he, this bloke could not get it. That's where I got my three from. Mm. From this guy. And yeah. And then Travis come on and start arguing with about the Bible. And I thought, this is this is be priceless. This is. <laughs> I had to leave because I just couldn't. I just didn't want to listen to it. But I didn't that was know. just so funny. Uh, we're starting Demon to get. Excuse me, Alex. I think we're starting to Sorry, get Tim. the next shift coming through. By the look of it. Stu's put something in the side chat about Stonehenge. You want to have a look yeah, at it? Yeah, I looked at that. I've got it now. From Naked um, Science, and they've got 807,000 subscribers. Um. Science technology category. I cannot find anything to do with copyright. They don't have a watermark on their on it. It's called Naked Science, but it looks like a National Geographic thing, eh? They got an NS written in the corner, but my blue my blue thing eh, will cover that. How'd you get on uploading your Video. I gave up. I gave up on the um, Windows 10 photo editor because oh, it, right. it was it was taken. <laughs> it took nearly a whole day to even, not even get halfway. Oh no! I don't think I ever heard what that strike was for. Oh, music. we were playing a a, oh, a, 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 a a cartoony type video about how man went, how man was going to go to the moon. And just right in the middle of it somewhere, there was some music in the background. So I got Damn. struck for that. I got struck for that. Yeah, they blocked, they blocked, they blocked the whole video, though. That's the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. But I can copy it, edit that bit out, re-upload it. So that's what... Yeah. It's not so much I don't have to do it. It's more of a point of doing it for learning, because I want to learn learn about it but I know how to edit a little bit but now I've got this other program that I forget what it's what called what did you here. get um, what program did you get no, I got da told Vinci? to get resolve or did you did... wait a minute I'll find it in a sec it's did you get desktop. film media 9 no Da Vinci From... resolve that was Da Vinci yeah yeah resolve, I got that yeah. I got that well I got resolve and Da Vinci resolve so I don't know why I got two uh, two icons for that but me be Ended up with two icons. Hey, Mad. Oh. Yeah. I dedicated my name to you, Mad's long lost brother. <laughs> well, thank you very much. <laughs> Mad B's long lost it. brother. <laughs> <laughs> and, I wonder and, where you've been hiding. And, and one of the avatars on here is not Peter. Yeah, I see that. Not Peter. <laughs> I thought that was quite good. That. <laughs> Mad bees lost long brother. That's good. I suppose. Uh, oh, and your bo and uh, your boyfriend, um, Spacey, has got his computer back. Oh, he has. Oh, yeah. good. You'll hear cool. all about it when he comes on. Yeah, he's all right. excited. He said he's going to take yeah, it to bed with him and everything now. <laughs> I, was, I was surprised he wasn't on here, actually. Uh, he probably will be, will be on later. It's too busy playing it. Yeah. His computer, that is. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Bless his little heart. Yeah. <laughs> I, we spoke to him earlier today, so... It's, a, it's official. I really hate hospitals. Oh, no. Did you go there again today? <laughs> I, yeah, I had to go for the foot clinic. 
Oh, God. Oh, no. After, after, after three and a half hours, I finally got home. Oh, no. Oof. Your brother? Did your brother take you? Yeah, the poor bugger. He had to. He sat around for three and a half hours because I did. I thought, oh, I'll be forty. I said, I texted him and said, I'll be forty minutes. Yeah, and right. It, just kept, lo- it kept getting longer because then a vascular surgeon came up uh, and had a look at me leg, and then I had to go and have tests done. Oh, so after about a dozen coffees later, he was wait while he was waiting. Yeah, I felt because it was. He said it was no point going home because not knowing when I was going to be finished. Well, they've got a coffee shop at a hospital nowadays, so... You... Yeah, well, they got... Yeah. They had coffee shops everywhere in that place. Yeah. Everywhere yeah, you looked, they were selling coffee. <laughs> yeah, we got coffee shops and snack bars. And our, and our it's a WRVS, bloody rotten. But it'd be cheaper to go all the way to London to a Michelin three-star than it would be to buy stuff at the hospital. <laughs> no. Well, the coffees are a flat, flat rate. They seem to be about $4... Around average of four dollars for a cappuccino, a medium cappuccino. Oh, well, so um, that'd be I... for you, Mad. That'd be probably two dollars. Two quid. Yeah, about two dollars. That's, that's yeah. quite cheap. Yeah. And they got a four. crappy, crappy hamburgers for eleven dollars. Yeah, but the, the yeah the burgers cost nearly fifteen twenty dollars. Uh, eleven dollars they were, and they're terrible. I know they're expensive. The food they sell in those in the Bay Marie for a sandwich. Like because $15, they just for a sandwich. Everything's contracted out now, so they got to they whack the price up to make money. The how, public how cafes much? in British hospitals are usually run by the Women's Royal Voluntary Service. Yeah, well, these ones are contracted out now. The ones we've got. Yeah, annoy me. Them voluntary. They don't get paid yet. They charge an absolute astronomical mm-hmm. price for the goods. Uh, so and the coffee's shite. Yep, yeah, someone's making a lot of money there somewhere. I feel sorry for the. Well, the, whoever the volunteers, that is, yeah. That really infuriate me. It does, really does. I never have to travel at twenty three miles to get to the hospital. A couple of ladies in Girvan do it. So that's all your petrol or bus fares and everything as well. Or nothing. Ow. Yeah, I got to get. I got to get back Wednesday now as well. <laughs> Next Wednesday. Oh. Yeah, I find I know they're there for our convenience, but I find hospitals really inconvenient. <laughs> yeah. that, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. but it's, you know, you, you can waste a lot of time waiting in a hospital. She was on the the um, podiatrist. She was nice. She was from England. It sounded like she, she had an accent, like as if she was from Essex or something. She had a real strong accent. <laughs> Oh, blimey, mate. What the hell you got on your foot? Hey, <laughs> hey Geezer, what do you think you're doing, mate? Uh, yeah. no. That was a bit, that was what I was like a bit, but she was really nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and my doctor that I see, normal doctor now, she's, she's very posh English. Very yeah, quite Yes. Quite. Yes. <laughs> all the all the doctors, all the doctors and podiatrists, they're all moved to Australia by the sound of it. I think so because most of them here are Indian. Did, uh, did you guys yeah. hear the Prince Charles' speech recently to do with the bushfires no. and stuff? Didn't you just get that no. over there? Oh no, no. Oh, we got don't it here. Telly. I tend not. I tend not to watch the news though. Okay, I don't we watch telly. Have. Elton John donated a million dollars. Yeah, he done well, he didn't done. he? And um, no. si- Simon Dan give us, gave us a shout out too on his last video. Well, not me, I mean Australia's fire stuff. Oh, I was just saying. Oh, yeah. He could have mentioned the Aussie perspective. I know, I DM'd him about it. <laughs> so I'm, just waiting, I'm just waiting to get a reply from him now. <laughs> I said, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I've been watching poor old um, Lewis Rossman. Oh, my God, he's having some problems. Who? Lewis Rossman, he does Apple repairs in New York. All right. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's um, not happy with the contractor's work in his new shop. Why they use wood, I do not know, because you can buy self-leveling 
and this, floor what's this for? Oh, he's got a new shop, right? Lewis Rossman, he, he repairs, you know, computers, apples mainly. And um, and he does hard drive data recovery and all that sort of stuff. Well, he's in a really crappy shop at the moment, premises, and he's hired another place. And he got a contractor in to level the floor up, right? And they're using two by four <clears throat> pieces of wood to level the floor up. All you had to, you can buy some liquid floor leveling. If it's cementing, can, if it's cement, can, yeah, you yeah. can just pour down that liquid yeah. leveling stuff. Yeah. Can I um, interject? Can yes. I interject into this? Yes, so you can. Yes. The reason why they didn't just use uh, self levering is because yeah. they were putting in a flo floating floor. But what they should have done, very much along the lines of what you said, was throw down. Sorry, grind the floor with an industrial grinder, throw down liquid level, then put yeah. the battening down, then build up the layers on top of that of the floating floor. Yeah, but he didn't need to have a floating floor. He just wanted a level floor. Yeah. That's why yeah, that floating floor was put in. But he didn't need to put all that wood in. He just put self-leveling material in, and that'd be done. Oh. Put lino over the top of it, and it's all you got level Can't floor. Do can't do that. That would have been too easy. Well, yeah, it would. But he's, he's now sacked the guy. He's got yeah. rid of him. <laughs> and it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get a creaky floor. It's wood. You can't stop it. It doesn't matter how good a construction you can stop you do it. it. You can stop it over short-term periods, but the longer yeah. that timber stays there, yeah. the, the creaks are going to come back. It's, of course they are, yeah. 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 I mean, he's been a bit, bit too fussy about that because you you can't stop wood creaking. No, no, That's... and and like wood is a natural, it's a it's a natural product, and if you want to look yeah. at it from the point of view that it's a sponge, when it's sitting in um, any environment, it's going to soak up the moisture, or oh, it's going yeah. to dry out, and as it moves, yeah. warps, twists, shrinks, and expands it's going to change its characteristics. And when it does that, that's when you get movement. And when you get movement, that's when you get the creaking the no and the noise. Yeah. And Yeah. But I was gobsmacked when I sort of watched them start to do the floor. I thought, what the hell are you doing? I, mean, it's... <laughs> I thought, so, that's an expensive way to level the floor out. <laughs> so I was, I was in a, I was in a 200 year old, um, it was a monastery originally. Then from a monastery, it became a nun nunnery. Or a, yeah, nunnery? Convent. Yeah, uh, does, yeah. Convent, that's yeah. the one. Then it became a convent. <laughs> then, yeah. then, then after that, it actually became a, a home for what they called wayward women or young women that got pregnant at the age of 16, had to get rid of the baby and didn't want any of their rich relatives to know. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Okay. So this place was 200 years old. We had to make the floor level. We ground them and we were putting down vinyl. So all we did was we ground the floor, just a rough grind to get rid of all the old vinyl and everything else that was already on there. Went over all the joints with, um, with, uh, feather with art at feather uh -huh. so that most of the most of the wherever there was a join between two levels it was fairly close yep then then we put masonite down so five five mil or uh what's that quarter no it's not it's yeah. eighth of an inch eighth of an inch uh masonite five mil yeah, five yeah, mil yeah. three eighths yeah. yeah yeah through that over the whole floor, nailed it all down, and then we put the vinyl on top of that. Yeah. And you know what? Come up perfect. Mm. No, hey. no creaks, no movement. Hey Terry, did you check that this is the real Peter? Mm. Yeah. Oh shit! No, it's the fake one. <laughs> How you going, Peter? Yeah, yeah. Good, thanks, Glo. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Just watch this. Hang on. Hang on. Let me. We're hanging, we're hanging. Don't leave us hanging. <clears throat> yeah, your hair hair and beard needs trimming though. Oh sorry, it's <laughs> magnetism from her. My my beard. I know to get rid of my beard. 
Oh, I got, I'm getting this. This is the other Peter. This is the other Peter. So we've got Pete and Peter. <laughs> it's, it's Pete. And Peter. Yeah, Pete and Peter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting some brownie points for my brother and sister in law tomorrow. I'm taking my nieces to Warrnambool, which is about, I don't know, it's three and a half hours in a train or something. Yeah, you bring, you bring, you're bringing them back? No, I'm, I'm <laughs> taking, taking them down, and their grandfather's picking them up there, and then I'm catching a train back an hour later. Oh, okay. So you're not bringing them back? No, I'm not. No, my brother's <laughs> going to go. To, my brother's going down in a week to pick them up. But they're both working, so it was hard for them. To, and they didn't really want their daughters a bit too young to go on a train by himself. So I said, I'll take them. <laughs> yes, Dora, it's far from flat. But they could have done it a lot easier and a lot cheaper than what that contract was doing. It. I certainly wouldn't use two by four. And the, the funny thing is, he didn't do the toilets. So he had a like a, a four-inch step down into the toilet room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know that was in the contract. Oh, I didn't know you want one in the floor. Oh, I didn't know you want this. I didn't know you wanted that. I sacked him. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, but <clears throat> no, I just need Pip to change hers. Mad B's long lost sister. <laughs> <laughs> Black window too. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. What I just saw that bit. They got some plastic stuff down the in the cellar where he's hiring. And they said, oh, we'll use that. We can use that as a window in between the reception and the where everyone's working. And, of course, the contractor peeled it back, realized that was black, but still put the window up. Well, it wouldn't have been a window. It's just been a black piece of plastic. And he laughed about it. thought it was hilarious, the contract. He said, no, don't peel it. Let them do that so they see what they get, which isn't very funny. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, got a Mr. Sensible too. Not oh, Mr. Sensible. Uh, January 7. When would that have been? I don't know, I don't know what the date is today. It today. is the 8th, so it was yesterday. That's yesterday. Place. Okay. Yeah, uh, I haven't had a chance to watch it, so that'd be cool. I picked out last night. Yeah, last night you put up, I think. I ate... Oh, that's the one about Egypt. Mm, don't know. No, this one's Flat Earth Day Night. Oh, okay. Daytime. Long no, Day No, I don't know. <laughs> Daytime. But as long as it's not super rats, please, no. Not I time. love a special cast, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wish we could drag Spacey but in here. I don't know where he is. Hiding. Oh, he's making love to his computer, I think. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> It'd be interesting to know what he did wrong. Well, I know what he did wrong, but. Well, it's the first. First, he said he couldn't separate the heat sink from the from the. Yeah, he's computer been chip. a bit ginger. Yeah, he's been a bit wussy about that. I said, oh, "Come off! Don't worry about it. That'll come off." I reckon if he stuck it, can you get a knife through there, or is it? Like... Well, he wouldn't. I asked him to get a really sharp knife, and that'll just pull it off. You won't hurt it. He said, "Start to bend the metal." I said, the metal is about four mil thick. You won't bend that, mate, with a knife. On oh, the heat you. sink side? No, you won't bend that. Yeah. No, he won't bend that. But he, he didn't want to do it and break it and bend the pins. And he's a bit wussy <sighs> like that. Because so. it's just a lump of aluminium, isn't it, with some fins on it? Isn't it? Well, uh, the sorts. actual... The top of it is... The, the aluminium hensi, yeah, that's alloy. But the actual... 
IHS on the CPU is an alloy. No. No. no but he wasn't worried about the CPU. Yeah, he was. He was worried about denting it. <laughs> <laughs> but he's putting a new one in. <laughs> That's why I couldn't I work out. Why is he worried about damaging the CPU for? Um, yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Here we go. Funky music. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Mr. Sensible. I hope you made yourself at home. Today we're going to have a look at a channel called Philip Rockholt. He seems to host stuff from all over the place. He's hosted a video that apparently is going to prove how day and night works on a flat earth. Not sure where it's come from. On the video it does say flat earth YouTuber, flat earth map, flat earth model, but I couldn't find them. But it doesn't matter because it's still a whole heap of fail. And if you're thinking, Mr. Sensible, why are you doing this to us? We're face palming like crazy and it hurts. The people you have to thank for that are my wonderful patrons. With massive thanks to all my patrons, including new patrons, Jamie, Stephen Huxtable, Paul Reap, Surf, Number Six, Corpus Defectus, Tiffany Hall, Erebathron, Bardtail, and my newest patrons, Francis Cimenti, William Foley, and Alice Vonstrom. Thank you all so very, very much. So, Mr. Philip Rockholt, I suggest you get on with it. Roll VT. Hold on a minute. There's a bit of a problem with that. That data is taken from timeanddate.com and would equate to half of the area of the surface of the Earth as a sphere. It's been transposed onto a flat disk, which is why you've got such a strange shape for the nighttime portion. I don't think this is going to work. Well, because of the distortions of your flat disk Earth, in March it happens to be a bit closer to reality. That's a lot closer on 50%, but it's still not 50% of the globe. Now, the daylit portion has changed again. So why is the amount of the surface area changing unless either the sun is suddenly getting higher or lower or it's got some sort of magic lampshade changing the area it's covering but it's not reflecting reality. Now that's just silly. I mean, once again, we're not talking 50-50 daylight and night time. But somehow that daylight has reached around and past the night time. How does that sun, towards the 6 o'clock position, light up Antarctica in the 12 o'clock position without passing across everything in between? That's, that's just nonsensical. I will say one thing, though. You have just argued against Eric Debay because you're now showing 24-hour daylight in the Antarctic, whereas he says that's not possible and doesn't happen. This is a problem with the flat Earth. Everyone has their own theories. Everyone has their own ideas. And the reason they can is because they've got no evidence to back it up. So can, they can make up any old dingo's kidneys they see fit. And you wonder why we don't accept it. Oh 
really? It proves it. So you're saying that one of Flat Earth's greatest debunks, one of the greatest evidences against the Flat Earth, is actually its greatest strength. And it's going to prove it. Well, this better be good. I'm really, really looking forward to what you're going to bring to the table now. Just, just, what the hell is that? daylight patterns. Alexa, what are advanced daylight patterns? Sorry, I don't know that one. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know what to do. Um, I think I've just discovered purest dumb. Daytime. Nighttime. Alexa, oh my can you tell God. me about Philippe Rockhold <laughs> and advanced daylight patterns? Oh my god, Mr. Sensible, please turn me off now. I can't stand any more of this flat-headed idiot. Surely he must be a candidate for dumb of the year. Well, I think Alexa is probably oh, right. <laughs> Philippe, oh, what a load of cobblers. That. You haven't even got a traditional glass or crystal dome. You've got a solid hemisphere of glass to enable that light to get bent and refracted to mimic the dumb patterns that are forced by a flat projection of a globe in combination with the data from date to time. <laughs> it's utter stupidity. Um, just for the sake of argument, if that was the case, and the sun would have to orbit outside of this dome, um, as with your torch, it's going to have to get closer and further away in its orbits, to enable it to produce those patterns. And everything, I mean everything else, would be distorted. All the stars, all the planets, the moon. It just doesn't work. You have just grasped at straws and found something that looks similar to your dumb idea. That's not enough. That's not evidence. And besides which, we don't live in solid glass. I think that now is time for some flurfy feedback. A uh, guest pressure for my test deeds sometimes comes up to my cranium, so excuse me being dizzy. In my case, the container is very small against the vacuum of space. Well, thanks for that knobby bob, the odd job knob bob man. <laughs> oh no, Terence Dempsey, you pathetic idiot. Well, that's not very nice, Terence. Uh, hello, it's odd job knob bob man again. Uh, it, it went bang and created everything from noting. N noting? You know the big bang? We are, and we are still spinning. Uh, my name's Rich Obo. What, what, what fuzzy faced knob? What? Tyson Furious. One. Mr. Sensible. Do you really believe the dribble you speak? Space question mark. Oh, hello. It's a job, not Bob Man again. Oh, v v vacuums don't suck. I, I suck, only I, I, I am the container of this BS. Look, Bob, I don't mind you making these meme pictures. It's quite flattering, really. But if you want it to be a meme, you're going to have to actually make it funny, OK? 
I thought your name was meant to be Mr. Sensible, not Mr. Dickhead Liar. Lots of love from Alan MacDonald, Mrs. I am good servant. You are just an old idiot troll. It's embarrassing that you guys have nothing. This channel is just comedy at this point. Keep your bull shoes away from children. You will answer to God. Oh, oh dear. I, I hadn't thought dun, of that. Dun, dun. I'd better do something about it. In fact, I did do something about it. I went and got myself ordained. Certificate of Ordination. <laughs> this document hereby affirms that Mr. Sensible has been ordained by the Church of the Latter-day Dude on this day, December 27th, <laughs> 2019. <laughs> E pluribus dudenum, in dude we trust. <laughs> Bless you, my dude. son. And dude, be excellent <laughs> to each other. And party on, dudes! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Flat Earthers will never, ever cease to amaze me. I hope you've had some fun. Keep an eye out over the rest of January because every now and then is Channel Takeover and a different creator will be presenting an episode. There's some good stuff coming up and I just know you're going to enjoy it. Until next time, stay sensible. Shut up and sit down. Dora's apologising for that video. I'm taking she was one of the patrons that voted for it. What videos? Mr. Sensible's video. She's apologising for it. Dora's one of his patrons. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We live in a solid glass dome now, do we? What an idiot. <laughs> My brain hurts. <laughs> what do you call it? A adaptive light patterns? Yeah. What? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Flurfies. Yeah, I still reckon 2020 is going to be the end of Flurfies. I don't think it ever will be. Yeah, I think I'll just, that won't be as, well, it's not even big now, but that'll be even less so by June, July. I think people just had enough of their rhetoric and just walked away. They'll be all talking in their little echo chambers. Adaptive daylight pattern, says Dora. That's right. <laughs> Unsteady or, and your thought. Focusing was hard. We'd love to know where he got the, the Alexa voice to say that, what she said. Probably said something until. Um, I, mean, I don't know if you can get her to repeat things. I must have a go. Yeah. Probably said something that she couldn't answer. Like, our oh, Fluffy's clever. No, but she, got, she said something about fed up with this flathead. Something. Uh, Who's this then? What's this you're showing, Terry? Uh, launch, maybe? No. Oh, box says you can get it to repeat what you say. Okay. I didn't realize that. I'll have a go later. <laughs> Whoosh! It goes about. Yes, it's a, a launch of some description, is it? No. I didn't know if it was one of um, Ranty's. Terry, what are you showing? 
It looks like one of Ranky's videos. Well, I was, I was oh, yeah. it again. I was sitting here talking and yeah. no, one, no one heard me. I thought you... Who is this? <laughs> it's uh, Plain Truth. Oh. He's just showing us how, how not to use a camera. Oh, my God. Not to use or a, a tripod, or yeah, or try a tripod, yeah. <laughs> Anything remotely useful. Yeah. yeah. Sky, land, Sky, land, out of focus. Uh, oh. but, uh, a catamaran. A catamaran, yeah. A boat. Yeah. Fishing boat, yeah. Okay. It's still out of focus for God's sake. Focus <laughs> on something. Well, it's out of focus, isn't Jeez. it? God. I got no. That's what I mean. He picks the it... worst videos to play. Well, he's on such a high zoom, you can tell that. If he's on a tripod, he's on such a high zoom. Any shake, it's going to move the camera. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. Yeah. You've only got to sneeze near a camera on high zoom and it'll move. Even a slight breeze, even on a tripod, you've got to be careful. Oh, yeah. The day I did mine to the other case, it was as windy as hell and wobbly. Yeah. I mean, you got to have a really good quality tripod for stars. Yeah. Let alone a, a fluffy camera. Oh, that's shockingly and bad. And use a remote control system with your camera if you've, if you've got that. System. Yeah, so you don't touch it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a helicopter, Travis. Yeah, that's, yes. yeah, I agree. That's a helicopter, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He, he just lift, took off, waited until the earth moved around from underneath him, and then he'll land again. My five-year-old really grandchildren could do better than that. <laughs> Macro close-up. It's like, Mom, <laughs> you're taking a picture of the ground again. Put your camera up. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, chemtrails. <laughs> That's just off. Is that a P900, 1000 he's got? Yeah. That probably. wouldn't matter. He's, he still doesn't know how to use a camera. It would still be crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Please like and share and subscribe. Hit that yeah, bell. Yeah, right. Hit that bell. No, thank well, I had, you. Well, I have what? to because I've, I've, I've got to have these stupid some, idiots. Some unsteady clips. Yeah, yeah but, he's even yeah, written that. That's about Why? the only thing he's actually said was correct. <laughs> Why bother uploading it? Has he got Just any for content. Com I'll see if he's got any comments. One comment. It is distraction. Sleeping warrior. Sleeping warrior. Oh, <laughs> crikey. Ari, Ari's diffraction. What? Aries. Aries diffra Aries diffraction. diffraction. Is that a word? It was Aries failure. No, it's not a word. No? It's sleeping warrior, don't forget. I I'll say, I'll, I'll say thanks for all your videos. I know now how to, uh, how to use a camera correctly. No, how I don't know how to use a camera. Uh huh? I know how to not use my camera. Yeah, that's camera. It. <laughs> yeah. I'll say thanks. Yeah, thanks for these type. Ah, oh shit, type of beads. It teaches me. You forgot your karma. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll re-edit it in a second. <laughs> uh, it teaches me how to... Capitalators not... not. Uh, whatever. You don't put it saying? in capitals. Use. Not put, use. Uh, put not in capitals. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll edit it as... Uh, okay, uh, how not. Make that capital. Yeah, okay. Make that capital. Mm -hmm. oh. Get over there, you. Uh, how do you make capital? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did I do any spelling wrong? Yeah, you have to get rid of the wee T beside the not. Yeah. Backspace. So, oh, how did I do that? Delete, yeah, delete button. Delete uh, button. Delete. Oh, well, delete, delete. delete or backspace? Backspace. Either. There you go. Space. Have, I got any, have I got any space commas? No, you have no commas at all. Yeah, I need one here. There you are. I can put a space comma yeah. there. A space comma. <laughs> have I got too many? I can't see. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's space, it. Space, that's it. comma. Yeah, there we go. Space, space. comma. I've got to put me space comma. Yeah. 
Okay, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for these type of vids. It teaches me how to not use a camera. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that. Yeah. Now, can you put a video up how to use a camera? <laughs> <laughs> I'll make that for my next comment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the answer would be no. Okay, any more st stupid out there at the moment? I, was, I just went through my notifications to see if there was some... Oh, oh geez, I've got comments on videos I've got to reply to. Oh, I've got homework to do. What is the sun and what does it do? Well... Yeah, well, that was the start of the show. And then I had Quasar... Yeah. I spoke to Quasar a day or two ago. And we're yeah. talking about what we could do for tonight's show and, and it came around that sun would have been a good idea and I and he said stuff about it and I said okay then well you you'd be able to come on and help narrate and maybe help us you know, go in the direction yeah okay where is he yeah our Stu if he was making wedding videos for a living he wouldn't be very rich no, he wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, move. No, you move. No, you move. Yeah, no, you, move. you move. No, you move. No, you move. I was here first. You move. I was here second. <laughs> I was which, here three. Which, which Peter was here first? No, no, the other one was there first, but I'm... I'm kind of going outside at the moment. I just had to get some late night snacks for the kids. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. You brought enough for everyone? Um, yeah, hungry. Bit of hungry jacks, Terry, you know. Hungry jacks? Ooh. Bit, of, bit of hungry jacks. Well, I did have lots of snacks last night, but I ate them all. Yeah. I ate a pox of, packet of fox cream biscuits. Oh, the Gordon grape. Crunch is one. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, a packet of um, grapes. Um, uh, what else did I have? Um, a box of Maltesers. Good God. Um, another packet of biscuits. <laughs> chocolate. Um, chocolate chip cookies. Several cups of coffee. Um a sort of, um, it's, I don't really know what you call it, it's supposed to be sort of Chinese chicken, sweet and sour, tea with rice. Um, uh, oh, I had a, an egg, bacon and mushroom sandwich. For two ah! Of them. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Peter. <else>? Oh. <laughs> A you see right up of... your nose. Ah! Mass... Yeah, let's put up. I don't know if I can. Ah, oh, there we go. That's scary. What's that? Uh, Is that no, an have, a, have a go. This whole scares. All right. <laughs> 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 oh. That's the first time I've seen you, Peter. Oh, what we're doing? What we're doing? Oh, oh he's. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I've got, to, I've got to fix up the thing. There we are. What, what are you doing? What That's am right. I doing? Yeah. I know what I'm doing. You got your hoodie on the wrong way, mate. Can you, can you see? Yeah, I just out of the way mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah, I just got to make you. I just got to make. <laughs> I just got to make you bigger for everyone out in the side chat. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's a flurfy. Yeah, well, I'll, on I'll let you know when it shade. comes. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. No, not that one. The other one. It's the other one. Why isn't it coming through? Yep, now it, it is. is. Yeah, it is now. Yeah, it's, I... on the, it's through in the YouTube, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was not doing. Yet. I was just checking. Okay. You so take the picture. All you had to had... do. Yeah, we're right, right now. We've got you bigger. Yeah, you got to put right. it on timer, so... This is live footage, folks. Not pre-recorded or 
Yeah, but how do you know? Are you there? <laughs> well, we need, a to- we need a time and date proof that this isn't live. Yeah. How do you do that, Peter? How do you prove it's live? Time and date. Uh, well, mm. newspapers don't ex- no newspapers don't exist anymore. Oh. Um, mm. Is the mobile phone uh, any oh, good? Hey, oh, well, well um, what do you think I'm talking on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a microphone. <laughs> oh. Well, hang on, hang on. There, there's a way we can do this, though. Uh, okay, you know? and it's verifiable. Uh, yeah, look, I think it is. Are you moving out? Trying to do six things at once here, Terry. Yeah, well, you've got two hands and two feet. Um, oh, he's, he's running away now. No, I'm, I'm still here. So, verifiable. You sure that's your house? Look at the floor. Where? The floor? I'm outside, mate. Now, when you open the front door and we looked inside. Oh. Kitty's mess. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody kitty's mess. All right, can you see those yep. dates and times? Uh, they're just yep. numbers. I don't know what they mean. So. Uh, Wednesday, 8 see? January 2227. And you, can't right. manipul- and you can't manipulate those devices for the time and dates. But. But if you look, uh, say, say London at the moment, so this would uh, be correct for the PIP, would it be? 11.27, yep. Yep. And MAD, yep. Yep. So, so, and, and Melbourne, which is... I can confirm 11.27, yes. Bang so on. the east coast, of, east coast of Melbourne? Yeah, but your phone's <laughs> just controlled by NASA. <coughs> oh, damn those bloody satellites. <laughs> <laughs> you do realise I only pulled this out to show that all you have to do is set your timer on do your I, camera. Should, should I pick on yep. the kids and leave a push bike lane on the ground? I'm a bit OCD about push bikes laying down like that. Oh, you are so, oh, are you? You are so, you are so over the, um, the cleanliness thing, aren't you? Uh, you, can well. tell, you, can, you can tell you don't have young kids anymore. No, our place was still clean with kids. We had four of them, only. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a single dad, though, mate. I just run out of patience yelling at them all the time. <laughs> Have you um, got that on maximum zoom? Yeah, you've yeah. got to have it on maximum zoom. Yeah. That's the only way you do things. Max- and you've got to shake zoom. it a lot. And you've got to shake you it a lot, sh- yeah. Shake the tripod oh. a lot. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. So you want me to? You want me to? You want me to now demonstrate? A, How um, Travers would take a picture. Yes. Yeah, take I'll a picture. Take a, with I'll the take a. I'll take a Travis picture. Hang on. Hang on. So we'll take. That's got to so, be out of focus too. So, so hang on. So can you see the moon in? That's mm-hmm. the screen of the camera. So it's a bit. Yeah. Pretty. But it's meant to be in the square though, isn't it? So hang on. Hang on. As soon as you touch it, out it goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's got to be. Yeah, but it's got to be out. Of, it's got to be out of the there square for Travis. Yeah, there you yeah, go. No, that, there, there we go. That, yeah, take yeah, the photo. Yeah. Go. Take the yep, picture. That's it. That's it. Yep, that's, it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Beautiful. That's a perfect <laughs> illustration <laughs> of how it's still, it's still come picture. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh! I forgot to turn. I, I, see, see. Unfortunately. Uh. Um, how can I do this? Oh, you've got stabiliser on. Oh, yeah, I turn can... your image stabiliser off. Off. <laughs> you've got to have off. that off. Yeah. Stabiliser off. <laughs> you've got to have it off on manual focus so it's out of focus. Yeah. And then shake the camera as well. <laughs> then upload the pictures to receive the light. That would be a perfect Flurfer image then. Uh, well, or better still, just take gonna... a picture of the ground. I was actually going to try and take a picture of um, Orion tonight. 
But be careful um, taking a picture of the moon. You might burn the um, lens, the sensor. <laughs> yeah, because all that cold oh. heat. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually freezing out here at the moment, Terry, because, yeah, the moon's here. Yeah, but you've, you've got a, you've got a um, magnified lens yeah, on there. Yeah, you've got so a magnified that'll, lens. You're that'll burn, intensify you're all the, the heat. Sensor. Yeah. That could be freezing. Summertime. Yeah, but no, but I've got all that uh, cold light, cold moonlight coming out. Cold moonlight, Terry. Yeah. Uh, cold is it totally you know? pitch black outside, or have you got street lamps or something? No, uh, no, I've got street lights. Well, I'm in my backyard at the moment, so. All right. I'll turn this light off. Um. So. Now, I don't know if this is going to show up, to tell you the truth, but so you can see the moon the moon there. Haven't you got any smoke yeah. where you are at the moment? You're lucky. No, nah, it's, all, it's all blown away, Terry. Oh, it's all here. Um, it's here at the moment. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm looking to my north. Um, I'm probably off north by about five degrees at the moment. Yeah, you can explain. Um, yeah. Somebody will have to explain all these degrees thing, thing to me one day. Uh, just tell me in a clock, so, like on a clock. If it's not twelve o'clock, it's one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. So, so, so at about yeah. at about eleven thirty there, Terry. Okay, so to the left of twelve o'clock. To the left of twelve yeah. o'clock. Right. Um. You know, I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but that should be a line up there. Yeah, we way. see it. We do see a little white dot. So you can see. You should be able to see Orion's belt, the three stars in a row. That's... Yeah, we can just barely see them. Um, I get a lot of light pollution here. Yeah, but that's, yeah, just, that's, with, really... that's just with your phone camera, so that's pretty good. That's yeah. This is just my phone. So yeah. if I come around this side, now if I get in the right place so that light. Now, can you see the stars up there? Barely, barely just see a couple barely. of stars. So, so you see one lower on the horizon, just above the horizon, above that tree, to the left of the tree there. Yeah, so that's actually the um, the best way to describe it. It's the top of the kite of the Southern Cross, but the Southern Cross is facing down at the moment. Okay. Hey, 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 Peter, when you see GI, can yeah. you make them pop wheelies? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if you get light pollution, you're best to put that hood on. That stop any stray light yeah. casting against your. Oh, uh, it's where I am in my backyard. I'm not getting a lot of light pollution directly on the camera. It's uh, mainly behind the, me, so you can horizon. You can see a little bit of light pollution. Yeah. Um, then how do I turn this off now, Terry? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> what are you asking me for? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I barely can they take a photo, let alone know how to make it do what you were doing. Oh, are your um, camera remote from your phone? Or I, haven't, I don't know if no, Canon no, does just, an app for it. No, no, Canon. Uh, it's my my uh, camera is not that new. It's oh, actually right. a fairly old camera. It's it's about. I think it's a 2008 model. Okay. So oh, right. it hasn't got, have, hasn't got Wi-Fi both. or anything like that. All oh, right. But what he paid for it, he don't. He didn't do too bad. No, no. For, it's um. I've done really well, but I'll try and get, get the um, cable remote. No, okay. it has no, got the hole. It. it has got the hole for it, but he hasn't got the adapter. Yeah, he didn't get it. Yeah, they're quite oh, cheap to buy. Yeah, I was, uh, look, I wasn't even going to bother buying one because even to make them, it's only two wires and um, the plugs only cost about... Um, it's only a single um, pin, 3.5 mil, 3 mil plug yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's, no, it's, it's a 3.5. 3 pin, 2.5. Oh, okay. Uh, yours is, yeah, yours is different to mine then. Yeah, so... Hey, mine, did you ask Alexis like how to use your camera? <laughs> No, no. She 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 asked if I was a flat earther. Um, <laughs> I got no help for you then. <laughs> I've got no help. So, at the moment, it's fairly clear here tonight. So, 
I might go for a walk later on to a darker area where there's no street lights, look, look like a stalker, and try and get some uh, shots of the Southern Cross. Yep. All I, see, all, like all I see is smoky sky out here. I've got nothing. No. Oh. I'll, I'll try and... I couldn't even tell if there was any stars or moon out at the, at the moment. Unless there was a full moon, like you said. I should go and see if I can see the full moon. So shining it's... through the smoke. I don't well, think so my, I'm head, in my... my headphones... So I'm might, in my front yard. My headphones, I'm in my front yard. My headphones might cut out by the time I go out here. That's alright. So I'm in my front yard now. And that faces south, but I've got this horrible street light that really screws yeah. up all of my light. Barely see the sun, so, uh, the moon through the, the the haze. So, so can you see? But mine's more yeah, about. I can see a star. Oh. I can, I can see a yeah, star. Yeah, see those, see that star on the distance that's almost above that. It's north. That street lamp, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Why is mine different to you? So, yeah, so that's a... You said it's about yeah, 11 so o'clock to your north. Mine looks like it's about no. 12, 12.30 to my north. The moon? That's because you're in a different location. <laughs> Peter? Have you, got a com have you got a compass on it, Terry? I just know north's that way. Yeah, well, north that way. <laughs> I know north that way too, but you know, let's be honest. An accuracy of uh, fifteen minutes. What can I yeah, use for a compass? What can I use for a compass? A compass. Uh, a, Your phone. A pin and a cork and a and a bit of water. Uh, isn't can a phone do it? Yes, the phones. You can get an app on your phone. Yeah, there's a uh, app on I, your phone. I don't know if the missus will let me do that. I'm sure she'll go off at me uh, if I if I go doing <laughs> stuff like that with it. A, a fridge magnet <laughs> with um, a bit of string. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like, look at. I got another way. There's another way to do it. Go on to Google Earth. Earth. Yes, that's, Go what, on that's Google what Earth. I was already one step ahead here. Yeah. And work out which way your road goes. Work yeah, it off that. That's what I'm about to do. Go to Google Pro. It's me Google Pro. Here it is. Right. You got to be careful which which apps you download as well. If they ask for permission, don't download it. There we go. Here's me Google Pro. We'll see that. Uh, yep. Wait a minute. There it is. Google Pro, Australia. That's yeah. CGI. <laughs> That's CGI. <laughs> okay. Uh, where am I? That's a flat Earth map. Yeah. Okay. Now that's supposed to be no the little doodad should be north, shouldn't it? So if it is facing north, it should be north. The the arrow at the top here. Mm, I don't know. Probably on, maybe. On, on Google Pro, you got a little N. So that should be north. Don't don't dox yourself too much, Terry. No, I haven't doxed myself yet. Because I can see where my street is. No one else can. We can. Uh... <laughs> we can see you moving your mouse on your... <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree that's north? With the yeah. thing there? Okay. Uh... I don't know. can't see it. can't see the little end. Where's the little end? Right up there where my mouse, where the hand is. Ah, it's not. Oh, it doesn't show. No. Oh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's okay. Trust me, it's right at the top, top of the page. Okay, okay. Facing that way, and so the angle of my street's like that. So if I'm facing, uh, where am I there? Now, without just knowing where I live, I know where you live. I know you used to. In a house. Yeah. You live next to that house there on, on that street there. So, <laughs> so I'm about five minutes before north at, north at the moment, Terry. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to work it out. Maybe, maybe almost yeah, right. That, on yeah, that's true. Off. Yeah, I've just, I just realised it. Yep, yeah. I just orientated my street parallel to the screen. Yep. So it's facing that way, and then the north doodad thing is to the left of not north. So I can see a Duvalaki. So if, if I'm facing to the right of north. Say at about twelve thirty. Yeah, twelve twelve thirty to me is nor is north. Yeah, how do you explain that? Um, you work that out. Yeah, my north. How do you do it? How do you work that out? Yeah, my north is twelve about twelve thirty in the sky to me. Yep. And the moon's around that area. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve o'clock to me. I haven't. I hope you haven't got a pinprick on your house because it's showing your latitude and longitude at the bottom. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't got the mouse over my house. Oh, that's all right then. Yeah, that's so good. it's pretty pretty close to almost north right now, anyway. Yeah. Because where you are from there, if I zoom out. Yeah, so Victoria's only, say Melbourne there, Wollongong there, across, however far that is across from the latitude. Yeah. Interesting. It says where Flurfies get all muddled up. They don't realise that, you know, the moon will move from your location. Yeah. So it should be oh, a, a, it, it should be at least a degree different, shouldn't it? By the time it reaches, say, Melbourne to here, across that, because I haven't got the longitude latitude thing as written on here. Oh yeah, it, it could be Terry. I, I, look, I'm not clever enough to do the mathematics in my head. I'm sure someone out there probably could be. Um, well, if you click Victoria, I'll, I'll tell you a longitude. Oh, so, okay. What I, uh, right, that's 38, 38, 38 degrees, yeah, about 38 minutes, 20 seconds, yeah. And I'm, I'm about 35. Oh, it's three degrees then. That's three degrees difference. Yep. So that's that will be in elevation though. Yeah, and then, then you have to use the other, the 101, was it 146? One, uh, one, well, I'm only going from one, Melbourne itself. Yeah, so, so, so Melbourne. I'm, I'm only, I'm, I'm 40 k's east of Melbourne. But, yeah, that's close enough. Um, 144 and, and, and compared I'm, to, to 150. 150. 150. Nearly 151. Yeah. Uh, close. Yeah. I'm right on Wollongong, so that's 150. So, yeah, so that's that's a degree lower, and was that like and if I go to half Mel a degree? Dot, if I go to the dot of Mel... Oh, there's no so, dot. So, Terry, Terry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no. Terry, turn, uh, zoom back in because I'm not worried about doxing yourself that much. But zoom back in. See where it says Fern Tree Gully right there? Use that. 145. Right. So you're 37, nearly 38 degrees by 145 degrees, 22 minutes. So that means also from where I am, the, long, the longitude of the moon be, should be a slightly different too, shouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be higher in your sky compared to mine. And it's going to be... Slightly Yours further is going to, to see, yeah, to the left compared yeah. to mine as well. That'll be further yeah. to the west. <coughs> well, I can see it in the sky, but I haven't got any instruments to, to view it with. Oh. To, to show. Because that's a, that's a good live debunking of certain things to do with the moon. 
Well, well, that's that's always been one of the things that Alan's tried to do, if you remember. He was trying to get the angle of the dangle of the moon from South Africa with Carl yeah. compared yeah. to um, to him in England. And that alone, if you, you do the mathematics with the angles and stuff, um, it proves that the Earth can't be flat. Yeah. Because you have to take in for account the um, the curvature of the Earth when you you do your angles, or else they point randomly out into space. Yeah. Because <laughs> if we can do repeatable um, observations that other people have, well, other people have done different observations, but if we can do repeatable type observations as well as other people doing them, well, that's just extra extra. Proof, I suppose. God damn green lawns. How? You got green lawns down there. Me? I do. That's what Andrea um, said. Think... God damn green lawns. Oh, I think I've still got a green bit. Hang on. <laughs> you got a green bit? I've got nothing yeah. here. It's all, gone, it's all bloody gone. Do look dead near nearly. Yeah. And the weeds are bloody yeah. look healthier than the lawn does. Oh, well, I poisoned weeds the other week, so most of them are dead. Yeah, I've got to go around and kill heaps of weeds. Oh, all right. Oh, I've got a whole heap of daisy heads coming up on my front, front lawn. What's wrong with daisies? They had colour in the spring. There you go. See, look, I've got green. <laughs> You're talking about the yellow ones. Yeah, those yeah. yellow ones are all about to come up. Yeah. So, I've got green lawn there. Green bits there. <laughs> Spot a green bit. <laughs> my my front yeah. lawn, my front lawn's Dead asphalt. Hang on, my front, oh, my my nature strip. That's pretty ugly. That's CGI. Yeah. That's all CGI. Bloody, so that's he's all. Bloody, he's got a good bloody camera for CGI. Yeah, that does it live. Uh, now I know his driveway. <laughs> I'll find him. <laughs> do, do, you, do you want to do you want to look at my um I'll, I'll give you my uh my address if you really really want <laughs> and it's and it'll probably take me about three days to look, get there hey, now have a that, look at that that that's looks great oh, that's a bit yeah. nicer yeah that's my backyard well i've got to have somewhere for the kids to play that's where's the, the, where's the, where's the man play. shed? <laughs> well, when I yeah. moved into this place, Terry, you see, I got screwed over. I got shown this lovely picture of the place. I settled, uh, well, well I'm, I'm renting. But when they showed me the picture, they showed me this great, you know, a bit like a tourist brochure of the house. Mm. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, that will do. I just need a roof for the kids. Yeah. So anyway, when I come in here... <coughs> When I come in here, this is all that was left of the shed. That's a slab. It's a slab. That's not a shed. You can you can see <laughs> um, that's where the power was. Okay. <laughs> you can see where all of the footings were all the way along, like so that it was where all they bolted, all bolted it down. down and everything. Yeah. So wow. did you get um? Did you get a rebate for that? I in here and shed. No, it's uh, as it was. It's just there. Uh, I was very disappointed. So you got a good place for a shed? I got a good place <laughs> for a shed, yes. That's right. Oh, bugger. Nice. That's really nice of them. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. brag what I got from the Department of Housing then. Ah. Uh, one day, Terry, in the not too distant future, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. I'll call it my shed now because Dad's passed away, but it's mm. not really. It's mm. Mum's shed. Yeah. Mums don't. Mums don't have sheds, though. Yeah, I know. What What you call it? What I call a shed, you probably call a warehouse. I mean, what you call a well, shed? Well, verse, vice versa. Yeah. Well, this thing's. It's got three roller doors on it. And um, mm. yeah, three three roller doors long. Something something uh, that I'd fit all my cars in and my trailer and all my workshop and. Yeah, yeah, well. Yeah, 
That's a proper shed. Yeah. I'd 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 live in it too. <laughs> yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd be living in it as well. <laughs> I wouldn't need to I go inside. To my, I, I, I used said to, to live mum, in my shed. <laughs> if, if I put a mezzanine floor in there, Mum, can I move in? Is that all right? Has it got a big enough height? Yeah, it's so the. It's coffee time. <laughs> so the highest bit of the so, so the sorry. The lowest section of the shed where the caravan was designed to drive straight in, that would be sitting at about the... Oh, um, you're sitting at about three and a half metres, so there was enough room to get the, just drive the caravan straight in. Well, off, you're only, the you're only five foot tall, so there's plenty of room. Yeah. Well, from inside the shed, though, the inside of the shed is probably twice the height of that, so it's it's probably a good uh, ten meter high shed on the in, on on the inside. Well, the caravans are usually two point four. Yeah. So. Yeah, so we got. I just say the thing is, Peter's that short. Yeah. He buys them fold down ones. Yeah. He never bothers to lift it up when he goes. <laughs> 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 Caravan? What are you talking about? I've got a shoebox on wheels. <laughs> I had, hey, hey, I had. Have you ever seen those trailers that the men take their greyhounds to the races in? A little yeah. greyhound yeah. trailer. You're not there. Yeah. Yes. No, that's that's my caravan. Oh right. <laughs> it's a six before trailer with the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. That's all I need. Happy with that. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so, what other exciting adventures are we going to do tonight, Jeremy? <laughs> I don't know. They might, that's, that was our experiment. Yeah, well, that was my experiment to prove that I can actually live stream taking the pictures. Right. Yeah, well, all I got to do is figure out how you did that. What with your phone? With your phone, I wish I could figure out that. We just go. You just well, go, download Zoom onto your phone just without me, Mrs. Like. Known. Ah, <laughs> we use your Wi-Fi. So you don't use any of your credit? Uh, well, on her phone, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Just use so the Wi-Fi I'm, of your house. I'm just walking yeah. around the backyard using my Wi-Fi at home, Terry. I, I yeah, don't think so she's worried about either. the Wi-Fi. She's worried about the credit side of it. It's just me doing things with the phone. Oh, oh. using her phone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or just touching it, actually <laughs> yeah. physically touching her phone. <laughs> I'm, alla I'm allowed to check the weather. Um, <laughs> what else? I've googled super cheap auto today to look for some uh, stuff to buy with me credit vouchers. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and I've got my channel saved for the YouTube. It's on there. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's on that. She subs I think she's subscribed. You so, think? So what, what we could do, Terry, <laughs> is... Um... We, we could do that whole news coverage type flat earth debunking. We could go out and do a live debunking. And um, unlike Travis, oh. use focus, focused cameras. Mm. So the thing is, because a lot of us are all around the world, we could get five, maybe four or five people doing it live from their location around the world. Yeah. Yep. And how can you, how can you, you debunk that once, once you do that? Well, yeah, Alan, exactly. Alan's got his camera going and he's got his phone. Yeah. Worse. Well, yeah, no point because I'm just down the road from Alan. Oh, well, yeah. You, <laughs> well, that's no good. Well, I can live still next, do it. You live next door to him, basically. Virtually. No, that, yeah. no, that's, that's good. That gives someone to take Alan out. How far away yeah. from Alan are you, roughly? What, in a, as a crow flies? Yeah, as the, yeah, whatever type of bird you've got over there. Yeah, as a, well, the saying is, as the crow flies. Okay. Um, in a straight line, I would say no more than 15 miles. 
Uh, 15 oh. miles, 15 miles. Less than so, 15 so about, miles. Uh, yeah. 1.61, so you're probably looking at about 22 kilometres. Yeah, roughly, yeah. Okay, about 20 kilometres. Okay. Approximation. Approximately. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, about a th- like and I'm about a thousand kilometres from Peter. Yeah. Oh, so you no. two could do it yeah. once your smoke yeah, disappears. I've... Yeah. Oh, so, so I think, I think, uh, yeah, we would be just under a thousand kilometres from me. Well, I know it's about nine hundred and something to Albury from here. And we're, we're what? Is it really? Approximately. Yeah, I think it said nine hundred on the sign up on the road when you go go to go well, down to Albury. How far are we from I think Australia? It is. From Sydney, Sydney to Melbourne is nine hundred and eighty kilometres. Oh, yeah. straight line. Okay. Well, I wasn't far off a thousand in general. What in yeah, a straight just, line or by the road? No, by road. By road. By road. Ah, oh, road. Yeah, it's, you'd have it's to about do it in a straight eight, line. Yeah, it's about eight hundred and twenty in a straight line to Sydney. Oh, right. Yeah. But, yeah. About nine hundred. Bit hard to drive in a straight line. Yeah, paddocks getting in the way, Terry. Yeah. Well, they have shortened the the Route sixty six Hume Highway out over the years. Yeah, they've yeah, done can't... really good. We can't drive in a straight line here because we'll fly off into space. <laughs> <laughs> I got you keep dip- the turn. You got to keep I dipping got- the nose down, don't you? Yeah, I got to keep hitting the brakes of the nose dips on the car so I stay on the planet. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> but yeah, that'd be a good because we've got we've got Carl. He's over in Africa. We've got you guys there. You've got us in. England, but we need someone sort of like someone in South America. Yeah, we don't really have anyone from South America. Someone like, or on the east coast of ah. um, China or somewhere like that, or Japan. Oh, uh, we got um, <coughs> what's your names over there? Oh, we got John Stock. John, John's in Japan, isn't he? No, not John Stock. Um, um, oh shit, what's Huey. 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 Yeah, it's Huey, I think Huey. his name is. Yeah, he's over there. <laughs> if we all do it one night, live stream, and everyone on their phone showing the camera, um, obviously some of us won't be able to see because that'll be daytime. Nighttime. And, and other ones will be sexy, sort of like sexy. sunset. Some will be sunset. Some will be sunrise. Hmm. Yeah. I, I, I think that'll be, yeah. When are we having reunion? When are we having a reunion? It's been so long know. since I've seen you. I know it's been years, <laughs> isn't it, mate? <laughs> Absolutely donkey's years since yeah. we've seen each other. Yeah, it's got to be what? Oh, it's fifty-five for me. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's yeah. yeah. It's been a while, mate. I must have been good to see you. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Peter, Peter, you can turn your clock off now because you're not. Okay. And Pip. On, on which one? Um, the real Peter. Oh. Yeah, Terry's the older brother because he's, I think he's a year older than me. Yeah, I'm 58 this year. Oh, no. Oh, you're sorry. No, you're two, one of the two. You're two years younger than me. So oh, I, got, I, thought, I thought you were older. I got yeah, nine days to go. I got nine days to go and I'll be 55. How old is Quasar? 61. Ah, he is a year older than me, yeah. Yeah, he's the big brother. We're just going to have to have this reunion. Yeah. I'd say we'd, we well, could hey, we'll meet get, halfway, but we'll I get, don't really want to be in the we'll, water. We'll get casual pay for it. Yeah, cash, put it on the tab. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Meet at Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, halfway would be in the water, wouldn't it? Yeah, oh. halfway from London to... To Sydney, yeah. yeah. Or yeah. You meet at Hawaii, and then if you get meet at Hawaii, then make casual pay for it all. Good idea, yeah. <laughs> he won't mind that. He's got plenty of money. He's just had a computer fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's going for him, anyways. Yeah, that's and it saves me sending him a motherboard. Yeah, he was so excited about it. <laughs> I bet he was. <laughs> He's got plenty of time now because they pushed back the um, launch that he was 
worried about missing. So yeah, he's, that's what he was uh, worried about. He was worried. Yeah, about he's that. happy yeah. now. They, they've pushed it back about another week or something. Oh, good. You say if he, if he's a proper Englishman and lived in England, I would have gone and sort it out for him. But, but as he lives as he lives in Ireland, and you knew them stupid things called passports. No, he's in Northern Ireland. Ireland. You don't. Yeah. I could just jump in a ferry and go and see him anytime. You don't need a passport. No Northern way. Ireland. Why don't they yeah. just build a bridge and drive over there? Yeah. I mean, a lot easier. It's only like 20 miles from me in the boat. Yeah. yeah what's, the closest, what's the closest point between the land masses? About that. Yeah, uh, Maybe a bit to Larm. You're, you're lucky I got a Google Pro store going. Stranraer? Can you imagine trying to drive across there, Pip, during the winter? That <laughs> there get, a lot of cars don't don't, don't get bridge. dizzy. I'm spinning the world around. Oh, 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 stop, stop. Stop. I can feel it moving. Yep. It's uh, southwest corner of Scotland. Look at, look at the orientation of England. It's sort of like skew with north south. Yeah. They're all nuts anyway. There we go. Oh, here we are. That's the closest point yep. from right. there across yep. to there. Right. You're looking yep. for Larn. So you can't build a bridge. That, to Larn. You can't build a bridge that long. No. <laughs> no. The ferry goes from Stranraer or Cairn Ryan actually in that. Yeah. At the top where it says Stranraer. Yeah. No, in you need to go up a bit. Up, 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 up. Yeah. See where Stranraer is. The ferry goes up that water and out and down. There. See Stranraer? The ferry leaves from Stranraer. Goes up there. through that through that inlet. There he is. There it hasn't go. left yet. The yep. ferry's still there. Or Where? even at the top it came. <laughs> Where's the ferry? I can't see it. Where's the ferry? That's that little red thing. I was saying Cairn thing. Ryan, which is further up. <laughs> it tends to be Cairn Ryan these days, which is a bit further you up should, the lake. You should there. see the ferry if there's no ferry there. There you are. See Cairn Ryan? Yep. To the left where it says A77. There, yep. look. That's it. That's the ferry terminal. It's just south of it a wee bit, but that's the ferry terminal there now. Oh, that's the ferry terminal. Yeah, they moved it to there. Oh, there ah. There's the ferry. See, there's a boat. There's a boat. So it goes up that inlet and turns... Left. West and comes down a wee bit. Yep. There isn't actually any directly from the like the... Oh, it's one of those um, ones that they used for the... Um, yeah, it's a rolling off. What they, yeah, it's what they call a rolling off. It's got three quarters of the boat above water. What's this big Hundreds here? and hundreds of lorries on it. What's all this bit here around the back of it here? That's not part of the boat. Uh, There's usually a lot of coal and things on it as well. That's Google Maps being skewered. Oh, is it? Yeah, look. Because yeah, you can see the cars... And there's a lorry going on to it. Oh, okay. So I yeah. think it's just squiffy. I think that's the boat, just squiffy. Oh, yeah, okay. that's just that's Google Maps yeah. being silly. Yeah, it'll be it'll be two two layers of the map on top of each other, Terry. Oh, okay. So you can follow the lines up there. See the up and round to there and down. Two lines. One was over the yeah. other. Yeah, one just there'll be one to Larn and there'll be one to Belfast. Yep. Yeah. That's the Belfast one, I think. Wow. There, there you go. Goes. Bush to Belfast. And how, can that, how can that boat be in two places at no, once? No, it's a different boat. It's a right. different boat. Oh, it's a staying yeah. line. The other one no, is, it's, you know. No, it's the same boat. Well, <laughs> what it says it on the other side. And it's wait sinking. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We'll go around it. the other side. No, it doesn't say it's it on sinking. that side. It's sinking. Oh, that's one of those boats <laughs> they were using for over the curve stuff that time yes well they call them a rolling off yeah well um the same That's one a... go from where ranch is from like fleetwood or yeah and they go Blackpool. from england to france liverpool and... to ireland and stuff as well and they go from england to france as well and england to belgium and it's england like so to... as the crow flies from my house to larn mm -hmm. it's 69 miles but that's going south 
it's probably most closer to like 25 or something from mine to the tip of Ireland. Did you just hear what you said or is it just my filthy mind? No, it's your filthy mind. What did I say? Filthy stuff. Oh, 69 miles. <laughs> and it's going and it's going where? <laughs> which, which way is it going? South. I know. Going south. <laughs> <laughs> You're back to mind. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> I've been told Scottish women are more dirtier than the Essex women. I can imagine so. <laughs> Well, you're a nurse, you should know. Well, I don't know about dirtier or ruder or... Ruder, yeah. Ruder. Ruder. More... Yes, I would say so. More... Um, uh, what, um, what do you call it? Um, Fun. Blue? <laughs> yeah, you could say blue, but more adventurous. All right. Yeah. Well, they like See, for, for an Essex woman... <laughs> The word adventure means going from a house to West Thurrock to Boyce. <laughs> uh, have we got any more stupid out there? Hmm. I've got something here, but it goes for 51 minutes. Ooh. That's a bit long, Terry. What is it? What is it? That's from NASA. And it was only mm -hmm. brought out... Um, is it nine, the moon thing? 19 hours ago. Oh, oh no. 19 Not hours anything. ago this was brought out. It's yeah, called, I can't count as... <laughs> it's called Meet NASA's 2020 Earth Expeditions. Mm. But it goes for 51 minutes. And, oh yeah, I see it now. And going by the time... How do you see it? I'm not showing it to anyone. No, I'm watching it. I've got it for you. Where? I've subscribed to NASA, so I was just looking at my subscriptions at home. Oh, okay. I never get a notification, though. <laughs> yeah, yep, I've got my the, camera's I, I should have the notification bell. Yeah, I've got that in the bell. You're sitting outside. Sitting mm -hmm. outside Air Force One or something. Talking about stuff. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Let me look at Air Force One. Oh god, I've got a voice coming to the bedroom. Right we now. could probably play <laughs> some of it and then we'll play another bit of it, like part one, part two, or break it up into bits. It is getting on to 11 o'clock here. I don't want to be streaming all night. Not, ag not again. Well, see, so I've got to get up at 8 o'clock every morning for the next... Still got another several several weeks to go yet. Yeah. So we can either banter or we can watch a bit of this. So. There's the new Simon Dan. He um, talks about Egypt is America. <laughs> what? Oh, so is, it the, is Simon the one where he starts off the video where he thanks Australia? Uh, for the yeah, he yeah. starts off with the shout out. Yeah, and then it's and then it just gets crazier after that. Yeah, I think I've got that Egypt be, is in USA. That should be. In the, e Egypt is, is that, but... the USA. It sounds like it got talking. Um, uh, it sounds like you're on helium, Peter. That's no, not me. It's it? not Peter. Who is it? Not Peter. It's Mipips. not Peter. It's Mipips coming through the other. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Discord. Okay. I wonder what oh. the voice was. If, if you want, like it, it sounded like helium. It's, it's coming through Terry's. All um, oh, right, Terry's feet. That's why it's I'm, muffled. I'm doing secret voodoo stuff here. Yeah, and that's voodoo. it. It's just a little bit muffled. Where's Simon Dan? I thought I had a Simon Dan somewhere put away. <clears throat> I forget where I put things. I was going to say, yeah, it was, I, it's a good sound effect. <laughs> I give up doing tidy and Terry because every time I tidy up and put things right in drawers, what are labelled, 
I can't find them. Because I forget which drawer I put it in. <laughs> yeah, like when we moved from a uh, house to this house, and I st I'm still trying to figure out where things are. But I know I've got it. So, you know what happened, Terry? I, I know exactly where it's gone. When you weren't looking, she put it in a box and she threw the whole box away. I did actually <laughs> lose the whole box of stuff when I moved. Yeah. The box of stuff that they think, nah, he doesn't need any of this stuff anymore. Yeah, well, what, I, what I was doing when I was getting collecting things off my shelves and starting to put them in boxes in the middle of the garage floor and trying to work out what, what was rubbish, I'd move it up to the end of the garage, okay, I might sort that lot out, I'll see what I need to throw out. I mean, Dad was just taking stuff after stuff and putting it in the bloody skip bin out the front all the time. Oh, no. Oops. Yeah. I, I didn't realise what he was doing until it was too late. I said, I hope you're not taking any of that stuff and putting it in the bin. No, 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 I haven't been doing that. I think um, I've got more stuff in my workshop to move than I have in my house. <laughs> the importance of my workshop far outweighs anything in my house, <laughs> apart from my high phone computers. Okay. It's about the only thing important in my house. If I'm watch Listen, later, I might have put it in there. Most of my important stuff are in tool chests. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one. This might be it. Did you find it? Yeah, yeah, I found it. I better put it over in um, Bingo so I know where it is. Copy. Yeah, I was in my watch later. I forget that I tag, tag him for there. I'll put it in homework. It, that's that done. And... Press play. Ow. Oh, oh bloody hell. Ah. Foot. Okay, a bit of sign in there. Before today's video, I just want to mention the terrible time that Australia is currently having with those awful bushfires. This channel, and I would hope all of its subscribers, are thinking of you at this difficult time. I'll be making a donation to the Australian Red Cross who nah, are helping people that have lost their homes through emergency grants. No. If you'd like to help, I'll leave a link in the description for that. Yeah, not to Red I Cross. truly wish the best of no. all our no. friends. Send it to the fire and services. And I truly yeah. hope your fortunes change very soon. It'll just disappear if it goes to Red Cross. Exactly. They'd get pence. I sometimes imagine the world of conspiracy theorists to be a bit like a Game of Thrones. All of the major conspiracy theorists trying to be the biggest and the best, enslaved by no media, Jason Maggard and Hans Wormhat are all pretenders to the Team Four throne. But like an illegitimate son from the North, Terror Times has entered the world of conspiracy theorists and boy, is he making a claim. <laughs> Hello all, and thank you very much for joining me for another episode of Tinfall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Well, here we are, another new year, another new conspiracy theorist, and boy have we got a live one. He subscribes to everything. Flat Earth, chemtrails, evolution denying, nuclear weapon denying, dinosaurs never existed, moon landing hoax, and even sunglasses can cause cancer. With a list like that, it makes you wonder what we could be possibly talking about today. Well, Terra Times has a strong belief that there are not 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet and that the overpopulation hoax was created by fox hunters. I know, I know. Let's sit back and delve into his world, shall we? By fox hunters. There's the flat earth for you. <laughs> really? How is there 7 billion people in the world? How can that possibly be? And is noisy. Well, if you don't understand how the birds and bees work by now, then there's little point in explaining it again. 
Well, they just tell us there's 7 billion people in the world and we believe it. Actually, no. The key to knowing our world's population is data and not the one from Star Trek. The United Nations Population Division is responsible for this and takes data from sources including, but not limited by, country fertility and mortality rates, migration information, independent demographic and health surveys, birth and death records, the World Health Organization and the UN Commission on Refugees. It is an estimate, but one which we make with empirical data. So no, we are not just told it. But at the turn of the last century, there was one billion people in the world, so we were told. So how did that suddenly climb six billion people in 100 years? Really? That seems a hard task to you. Besides, your info is wrong. The world's population didn't hit one billion until 1804. And then it wasn't until 1927 that it hit two billion. After that, three billion was hit in about 1959. And from then on, we added about a billion people per 12 years on average. This was primarily due to the Industrial Revolution, the advent of a clean water supply, and a dramatic drop in infant mortality. Later, last century, medicine improved, people were living longer and having more children. It's really not that hard to imagine. If you gave every man, woman and child on Earth a quarter acre block of land, you could fit them in an area the size of Australia and still have half of Queensland and the entire rest of the world left over. And if you gave everybody their own normal house block, you could fit the entire world population in an area the size of Texas. So, you still have to feed these people, give them clothing, a fresh water supply and decent waste facilities. It's not just about space for living. So there is no way the world is overpopulated. Maybe it's not, but there's no doubt whatsoever that we are close. And that was when I was assuming the figures were 6 billion. But if the figures were 1 billion at the turn of the last century, then how could they be 6 billion then in 2008? And how could they be 7 billion now in 2018? Are we somehow growing in world population by a billion people a decade? Um, yes. Well, 12 years. The population growth rate back then when we hit 6 billion was around 1.2%. That means the population grew by that much each year. 1.2% of 6 billion is 72 million. 1.2% of 6.02 billion is 72.8 million. Mike, somebody. And so on and so on. You do this for 12 years and you get a population of 6.923 billion. Today's growth rate has fallen to about 1.08%. And think about it, folks, a billion people. You know, a billion's a big number. Most people just don't think about it. They don't ever really realize how big a billion is. To them, it's just big. People don't understand the concept of a billion. And some people don't understand the concept of growth rate and applying that growth rate to an already huge number. You know, a billion seconds ago, it was around about 1969. A billion minutes ago, it's around about what we're presented with as being the time of Christ. You could get a billion one dollar notes and put them end to end and you could get to the moon and go twice the way around the moon and back again. That's even assuming the moon is as far away as what they tell us. Of course he doubts the moon. Also, his statement was wrong. A one dollar bill is approximately 15 centimetres long. 15 centimetres times by a billion is 150 million metres or 150,000 kilometres. The moon is 384,000 kilometres away, so a billion dollar bills won't even get halfway to the moon. So a billion is a big number. How have we grown by a billion people in 10 years? And how do we grow by 6 billion people in the last 120? I just explained. Your personal incredulity on the subject doesn't mean that it didn't happen. You simply cannot argue with the maths. You know, when you look at it, folks, you've got to have two babies per household to keep the population stable. That isn't even with population growth. How did he come up with that? There's no way that he can distinguish the amount of households in the world or how many people are in those households. That's a made up fact right there.
And since the turn of the last century, we've had World War I, World War II, all those people die. We've had people dying of diseases. We've had all sorts of wars and all sorts of depopulations happening all over. All of which are taken into account when figuring out population numbers. Also, when you take into account all of the wars in the 20th century, 108 million people died. Now, that is a staggeringly huge number and extremely sad, but in the context of the entire world population, that is fairly small. Not to mention the 262 million people killed by their own governments in the last 100 years. All taken into account. Let's not forget to take that figure into account. And look at modern times. With the introduction of plastics, we've seen a huge drop in the male sperm count. Since the introduction of vaccines and modern so-called medicine, we've seen autism go off the charts. It used to be oh, one in a hundred people, now it's around about one in ten, and they're predicting that it'll soon be one in four. And of course, that just all seems perfectly normal to people. Yes, because we know what autism is now. A hundred years ago, we didn't. These people certainly aren't having any babies, and we've got men going their own way, all of this division of the sexes. Now, people simply aren't having as many babies as they were. You're lucky to find people that have more than one child these days. That bit is correct. The population growth has fallen. But as long as that population growth figure stays positive, then the population will always grow. I mean, sure, you'll still find some big families. You have people who have two or three or four, or even five kids, but you won't find every family doing it. So it doesn't really even out. And a lot of families just aren't having babies because they're too worried about their careers. Because you've got both men and women all both chasing their career, and it's all about the career, it's all about the status. Usually even the partner so, they get is someone who will help them in their career. It's usually a fashion accessory or a career accessory for them rather than a real-life partner. I don't think all of the 1.2 billion people that live in Africa are too concerned with their careers. That was a very first world chauvinistic point you made there. I don't think the entirety of the world are concerned with climbing the career ladder. Some people are just happy to put food on the table and have a roof over their heads. So not only can the population not be growing, it's not even remaining stable. Because like I said, you've got to have two child per couple in order to keep the population stable. And when you look at the amount of people having babies, it really doesn't average itself out. Because we've been taught not to have babies. Have we? Pretty sure the survival of our species counts on that. This is what the whole sexual revolution was about, sexual freedom. Taught to have more sex, but have less children. Make it all about the pleasure of sex and not about procreation, because we don't want sex to be anything sacred. We want it to be all about fun, or all about promiscuity. Go out and have as many partners as you want, just don't have children. I don't know about that, but safe sex is something which has been rightly pushed for the last 20 or 30 years contraception, all of the stuff. Look at all of the amount of people that are killed in these massacres everywhere. The massacres in Haiti, the earthquakes, all of this stuff that we see. The massacres that happened across Dominica a few years ago. The massacres that happened across Africa. So how is the population growing? Because the growth rate is positive. It's not hard. The population isn't growing. The population is shrinking. Look at the world now. Look at all the empty space. There isn't 7 billion people on this earth. Go out and drive around. Go out, leave the city. Go out and drive around the country and tell me where all the people are. Look at all the houses. Where's all the houses? Where's all of this population that we're told is tell me that, crawling man. all over the earth, destroying everything? It's not. Something I say to flat earthers a lot is the earth is massive. Earth's land has a surface area of 510 million square kilometers. That means every person on earth can fit into an area of 0 0.07 square kilometres. Now that's 70,000 square metres each. There isn't this massive population. This is because everyone's packed into these cities and they're controlled by having to go down all these highways and all these roads that have got street lights and everything's all congested and it looks like there's a lot of people because everyone's packed into these tight areas and they're only allowed to walk between the lines. So it looks like it's crowded everywhere, but it's not. There isn't that many people on Earth. No way is there 7 billion people on Earth. Well, there we go. Because he says there isn't 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet, then there isn't 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet. There you go. Good one. I am very, very sure that we will be visiting Terror Times again at some point. He seems to be a well of new conspiracy theories.
Thank you all very, very much for watching today. It's truly appreciated. If you liked it, then please, please do like and subscribe. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great week, and I'll see you all on Friday, where Phuket Word has a new Flat Earth model oh, for no. us. Until then. Word got another model out. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Puka and Subaru are going head to head. <coughs> oh, my oh, God. Because Simon Dan's just debunked one of um, uh, What's his name? Subaru's flat earth model. Yes. And I think I think Subaru's answer to Simon Dan was, uh-uh. <laughs> nah-uh. Nah-uh. <laughs> nah-uh. 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 Well, he, he's got Australia. North of England. Well, which doesn't work. That doesn't make sense. Life. Super Rats, no. Super Rats <laughs> model actually makes Australia twice as wide as it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. And it take you forever to get from Sydney to Perth. Um, the west coast of Sydney to Perth of of South America. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You'd have to fly. All the, halfway around the world to get to you. Yep. So, <laughs> well, <gasps> yeah. 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 <laughs> just, yeah, that just, just doesn't work, does it? Just, yeah. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. Um, I'd, I'd, in my radio world, I'd have to port my antenna north to get to Australia instead of east. So he's moved at 90 degrees near enough. 90, well, between 60 and 90 degrees, he's moved up. <laughs> and South America, oh my God, I'd have to point, what do you have? A, I'd have to point south. Yeah, south. Up to um, 200 and something odd degrees to get to South America. Well, un unfortunately, where where I am, mad. Yeah. Um, I, I need to call up the local uh, tree moving company because mm -hmm. my dipole is running north north south at the moment. So so my reflected um, lobes it's are east going west. east west. Yeah. Yep. Um, I can get New Zealand, like. There's no tomorrow, you know, 10 metres to New Zealand. Yeah. Not a problem at all. Uh, the only way I can get America or England is if I point at basically 45 degree angle cool. yeah. from from north in either the easterly direction or the westerly direction. Yeah. You know, and um, that doesn't work with Super Rats's model. No. None of the flat earth models work for radio. No. Radio ham. They just turn around and say, no, sorry, it don't work, mate. Go back again. Go back to the drawing board. <laughs> Have another go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but your your signals are just bouncing off off something. Oh, really. yeah, 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 yeah. It's really. called the ionosphere, and it but, goes yeah. in a straight line. Oh, yeah. that That's, that's funny, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bit what? like a bit like when you shine a torch at the mirror, it bounces yeah. off the equal and opposite angle. Yeah, it's funny there, isn't it? Yeah, but the light still goes in a straight line, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Will that will that do the experiment one day? And what HF are you allowed to use? Um, I can use um, eighty, forty, twenty. Oh, you can. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, that's yeah. Enough said. That's cool. Um, will that will that do one one? Oh, yep, yeah, I'm on stream. I'm I'm only allowed ten watts though, so it, uh, conditions have to be very favourable to get that. Oh type yeah, of it would be. Yeah. yeah, no problem. I can get depending on what the boys are doing down at um, the South Pole. Yeah, um, they quite often get a. Uh, I can quite often get a signal from them. Mm -hmm. But you know that's that's only was it about two thousand kilometres away or something? So yeah, um, I can get I can regularly get Perth because there's a, mm -hmm. um, a weather retrans 
site from Perth for the weather set. All right, yeah. So I can I can regularly get that. But um, yeah, trying to trying to ping it to activate it so it actually starts sending out the new the new um, signal gets somewhat difficult sometimes. So. Yeah. Like you know on the um at, at ten megahertz how there's the um time constant still. Yeah, at ten megs, yeah. Yeah, at ten megs. I can Good way of setting up your um dial on your HF rigs. Yeah, so sure it's accurate. Yeah. I, I can only get that or I can only get the one that's in Hawaii at about, oh, say, anything after about 8 o'clock at night. All right, yeah. Yeah, and I can only just, only because I know what I'm listening for, I can find it, but I, I can't, the com, I'm not getting enough signal for the computer to decode it, though, into, like, all of the... Um, of what what time it is and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, it's been a while, but yeah, I can stick up a, a wire beam antenna pointing your direction. Yeah, because I got clear clear sight that way. Good. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I want to set up. I've been talking to the guys down at the radio club, and they. They're going to help me build a fan dipole. Oh, nice. Yeah. So once I've got that, I'll, I, that, I should have a bit more direction out of that rather than yeah, just be, just be a couple of bits of wire coming out of the antenna tuner. Uh-huh. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, so you've got multi-direction, which should be good. Yeah. I mean, you could put... One going north south, another line going east west, and then have a antenna switch. Yeah. Yeah. It's time and money. That's all that's stopping me. Time and money. Yeah. I, I try to build as much as I can for myself, but that's when that's when time comes into it. Yeah. So I've, I haven't got the area I used to have. Well, I've got a, a small stamp garden, but um, I'll, I'll be honest. I've been thinking about setting something up at my mother's place. She's about a hundred and well, just on a hundred kilometres east of me. But yeah. um, her property literally runs um, east west, which means it's really good for shooting anything. North, yeah. But, uh, it's yeah, time and money. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd like to get a place where I could sort of put up a, a antenna mast. farm. Yeah, <laughs> I could here, but I mean, entail and buying a mast, and it just I can't be asked all that. I'll just probably stick some wires up, do a bit of HF, and. Is enough to get a antenna for two meters and seventy seven. These are quite small, aren't they? So we can stick them up on the roof, up on the chimney. So I've got good coverage here because we're quite high. Yep. I want to see that. Uh, but the wire antennas would be cool because I'd be able to run a good old length. Uh, I'd probably sort of like north south. Uh, I could do another one diagonally, I suppose, so it's east west. Where's where's that image at, Terry? The on the news. Yeah, does it uh, say where it is? The, one one was saying that there was some fires over in Western Australia near the Air Highway, but this one here, I'm, I'm, I think I missed it. Where they were saying where this was, the name of the town. I've just seen something run across the bottom of it, Jeff Wilson, so I'm Googling him. Only frog mouth. 
Australian see, um, guy sets Iran. a record in Antarctica. Oh, cool. I see um, Iran has fired on to um, American stuff. Yeah. Which ain't good. Yeah, well, I'm thinking oh. of um, shutting down now. All right, Terry. Well, yeah, thanks think, for the stream tonight. Yeah, I think we've been going long enough. Thanks, thanks guys, for... Thanks, Terry. ...turning up, and our mysterious guest uh, over on Discord, which, which, which we hear now <laughs> and again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, goodbye, everyone, in the chat. Bye, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, thanks, yeah. YouTube. Bye, guys out there. Bye, Dora. Yep. Bye. Thanks, Terry. Bye, Thanks, Pip. Terry. Bye, Bye, Thanks, Terry. Out there. Bye. Out there. Astro Rex. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, Nils, uh, Andrea. Dora. Uh, who else is up there? Oh, scrolling up, scrolling up. Boggs is Bogs. out there. Boggs. Dark we Man. We've got a look at Boggs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bye, yeah, guys. Go, See you soon. Oh. Bye. Later. Bye. <laughs>